Okay. Let's get our Saturday afternoon going. Lounge is closed. Dungeon is open. <laughs> Boys and girls, here we go. Lounge, uh, <laughs> the, the happiness lounge is closed and the hateful dungeon is open. So here we go. Why not? What the fuck? Uh, so just trying to catch up on some of the stuff. Hey, look, I know that the last couple of days, all the all the turmoil was kind of like swept under the rug, right? You got Bear came back, and Bear's like, okay, we got it. Let's pivot the watch talk, kumbaya. Let's have our moments. You know, but the thing is, is that, you know, there's stuff that's said, and, and as it's happening in the moment, it looks fucking crazy. It looks it looks bad, but it's always good. If, if, if we're going to self-reflect, if we're going to self-reflect on why are we audience members, why do we enjoy this fucking dysfunctional, fucked-up soap opera, okay, why are there people calling for boycotts for the uh, for the people of uh, of the Archiverse, right? Don't send them money. Don't reward. Don't enable this fucking bad behavior. What what's the bad behavior? What's the bad? Be what's the alternatives? You want to go see a one eyed fucking? You want to go see a one eyed copycat stream? Is that what you want? You want to go? I mean, what it, really? What is the alternative for the uh, audience members of the Archiverse other than finding something completely different? I mean, when you peel the onion back, what did this start out with? Peel it back. Peel it back to the old videos, right? The nostalgic fucking old videos. And what do you have? You got a blue collar, dysfunctional fucking retard that, you know, dips his toe into the luxury world. Turns it upside down wherever he goes, right? I mean, Tanzil, you saw Tanzil is trying to remind everybody, hey, this guy started out as a fucking troll. I mean, you, you've seen the, you know, one super chat after another from the boss. Hey, look up this. Hey, look up that. Remember when Archie was in this form? Remember when he was in that form? 
Archie was the original shitster. Archie was the original troll. Why would why is there always has there always been this turmoil and then all these splinters of people that come into the Archieverse? We all enjoy it, but then all of a sudden, you know, turmoil happens and they split off and what? How many channels have been started because of turmoil with the King Man Child Troll? Huh? I mean, really? I know that the I know that the watch talk, the watch talk is 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 how Archie infiltrated the lug luxury fucking uh, hoity-toity, you know, market, whether it's with LV boxes, you know, uh, Hermes shoes and bags, uh, high horology, whatever it is. It, it's pretty charming watching some fucking obnoxious troll infiltrate this hoity-toity luxury world and turn it upside down wherever you went. I mean, hey, look, do you need a better explanation than Nico Leonard? I mean, Nico Leonard doesn't hide the fact that, yeah, he got his inspiration from Archie. Now, what did Nico do differently than Archie? Well, he took it, he took it seriously, right? Me, you know, marketing team. He actually started a business. He did everything that Archie is unwilling to do. Archie's happy being a prostitute, being paid to put on one of the greatest interactive soap operas that there is. Who do we got in here? I'm fucking hitting the ground running. And I, oh, look at this. First person out of the bat, our Canadian LGBTQT rep and friend, Shalom fuckers. Shalom right back to you, lavishly fat. We got our COOs in the house, Tommy. 521 Tarpe. We got pasta. What's up, pasta? We got our billionaire, our resident billionaire, Z -Z 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 Zappi. We got Forbin. What's up, Forbin? Forbin knows what's going on. Again, Detective Curly's on to something about wedding being about as real as Archie's. Well, listen, it's all on how we interpret it, okay? If we, uh, is there anything traditional about the Archie versus Forbin? Is there anything traditional about it? We can't see that's you got to think out of the box. You got to think dysfunctional. You got to think unorganized. You got to think, you got to think, you know, greed, jealousy, envy, spite, hate, viciousness. That's what you got to think. That's what the Archie verse is all about. And we could come on here and express all those feelings. And, you know, we're not accountable in the real world now. When you go into the real world like these boys did, like this bunch of characters did, you get the greatest entertainment ever. The gonzo streaming, the self-reflecting, the regret, the Archie being honest about what his intentions were. Luxipu, the vulnerability of Luxipu, you know, for the first time putting his rotund, you know, his rotund self on display. I mean, was there better entertainment between Marcelo's channel and the dungeon? And the Archieverse main show? I mean, what a fucking fantastic week of high-end fucking content. It was fucking beautiful. I'm not going to let that be tarnished by a couple of old fucking empty, hollow, lonely fucking incels that haven't seen or used their fucking cocks in two decades. No, 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 no. We don't let them blemish it. No, 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 no. If we're going to be the hate channel that they make us out to be, well, then we got to give them what they want, boys and girls. We got to give them what they want. We got to give them the hate. So Spicy Peach, never seen Spicy, ooh, Spicy Peach, never seen him before. Canada Jimmy, Mike the Snake's number one fan. We got the Craig shit, Curly running the dungeon with NCAA tournament on TV. Well, hey, listen, you know what? We live in the most greatest, freest country in the world. You could be like Herman and start your own fucking uh, spike channel and get mad at everybody who promoted you, you know, uh, call for courage, call for, you know, uh, I don't know, boycotts, whatever Herman's problem is, Craig. You can, hey, multitask, Craig, multitask. Watch the game, listen to us, watch us, listen to the game, do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. Nobody's twisting your arm. I am fully enabled. Dodger, yes. See, Dodger gets it. See, the thing is, we we if you adopt, if you adopt the attitude that Dodger has, 
you could it, there, you could go you, you can't go wrong you don't have to self-reflect you don't have to do nothing i mean here dodger here's a guy who flies first class around the world to enjoy this stuff live and and he has no inhibitions of sharing and streaming what he does live Dodger is the number one example of what it is to be an Archiever's punter. He's not a pimp. He's not a prostitute. He's not an enabler. He is just a man who enjoys the Archiever's for what it is. He accepts it for what it is. That's what we have to do, boys and girls. No self-reflecting. No more interventions. No more nothing. All 29. What's up, All 29? We got JBJB. Explain it to us. Oh, man, JBJB. Cook me some swordfish, man. That looks so good. You got to do more of that, JBJB. You got to do more of that open fucking wood cooking. Oh, my God. That was making my mouth water. My man, JBJB. Just, hey, these are all different personalities. It doesn't make us wrong. It doesn't make us... It just makes us different. It makes us the spice of the ingredients in the fucking goulash that the Archieverse cooks, baby. Who else do we got in here? We got Mrs. Wilkinson. What's up, Mrs. Wilkinson? What else? And we got John Swatch. Okay, John Swatch. Well, hey, listen. Since we're talking about the lovely people of the Archieverse, let's uh, let's make this official, okay? The Happiness Lounge is closed, and the Dungeon Honky Tonk is open. Town and the whistle from the factory is running the sound, and everybody knows from miles around there's only one thing to do when the sun goes down. We like to head out to the local bar. It's like home sweet home when your home's too far. Where the past blue ribbon is coat on tap, and the barrel house one for shooting it back. It's the weekend at the country kitchen. Got a grill full of food with the southern fixings. Glass to the rim, that sunset sipping while I'm getting waited on by southern. The Vixen, pool stick snapping, dartboards popping, rolling 7 or 11 while the jukebox rocking. Drop another quarter, play 73. Who is that old Hank? Hell no, that's me. We just all get talking. Yeah, we smoking, drinking, making it, shaking it. No matter if it's early or the end of the day, you just come on in and we gon' find your place. All uh -huh, get talking. Let me see you on the dance floor doing your thing. And baby gonna show me some love We at the honky tonk girl Ain't no downtown club No DJ spinning No lights are flashing But that sweet southern sound Got the floor dancing With the one two step Electric slide We can cut your boy shuffle From side to side Just boom scoot and boogie Or saddle it up Now drop it like it's hot But don't rattle my cup Now I done been across the country From east to west I've been with New York models San Diego's best From Miami Queens To them Dallas primes But no None can compare to these homegrown dimes When they cut off shorts and they boost the mass They keep it stacked in the front and packed in the back I know where they at, it's where I'll be found We at the Honky Talk, baby, down in my hometown We just all get talking Yeah, we smoking, drinking, making it, shaking It don't matter if it's early or the end of the day You just come on in and we gon' find your place Oh, get talking Let me see you on the dance floor doing your thing No big smoke, how your mama know? The way I weave through the spot, I wibble wobble swallow in. Big boy, big nuts, big fist, all of them. The boss in the back, feet propped on the ottoman. Tell them bring the bottles in, Jack, not Chris. Y'all lying if you say you see country like this. I walk it like I talk it, yeah, I'm really honky talking. That girl there, sweet, make my Willy Wonka wanna. Gals go nuts, make them macadamia and take them back to Yale. The so fast you think I'm paying them. Tennessee sunsets got me wide open. Beer got Goggles on, everything slow motion. Looking for a blonde haired blue eyed chick. Yeah, I'm gutter, but I'm still on that country boy shit. Oh, yeah. I'm smoking tin of sticky hickey, and I'm trying to find a little lady friend to hit it with me. We just all get talking. Yeah, we smoking, drinking, making it, shaking it. No matter if it's early or the end of the day, you just come on in and we gon' gonna find your place. Oh, uh -huh, get talking. Let me see you on the dance floor doing your thing.
Thank you very much, Jimmy. You are right. I was muted. So let's take a walk around the Archieverse, right? So, you know, we have we have people that just they don't want to admit. They don't want to admit that, you know, just because you start a channel of your own, that doesn't mean you're not still part of the Archieverse. I mean, if you choose to comment and give your opinion about how you see the people of the Archieverse, not just Archie, but, you know, his panelists, uh, you know, people who super chat him, people who support him. Uh, you know, the one thing I never hear, and, and the, the one way I never see it framed, okay, and maybe people have a really hard time realizing this. I don't think I, I do, and I don't think a lot of people do, okay? Um, like our CEO, I think our CEO understands smart people. You know, I think, I think right here, JJ understands, you know, with all his faults, you got to admit this, you got to admit this Archie in the watch, in the watch, you know, industry, the horology industry. Okay. The luxury. I mean, you could even spread it out a little bit to the luxury industry. I mean, just the simple fact of how many people I see have LV watch boxes, you know, it, I think it's hard for people to admit with all his dysfunction, with all the drama, you know, with all the so-called uh, narcissistic behavior, as some people call it, Archie, when you peel it all back in the watch industry, is a celebrity. I'm sorry. Maybe people don't want to fucking realize it. Yeah. A fat guy with horns, with dysfunctional, uh, with a dysfunctional way of going through life, completely irresponsible in almost every aspect of life, okay? He is, in this industry, in this circle, in this genre, he's a celebrity, okay? He is a celebrity, a celebrity. He's a talent. Now, a lot of people don't want to win. I mean, how many, how many places can you go to where you have, what, maybe a dozen people have started channels, have clout chased Archie and started channels on their own because of Archie? See, there is an amount of, I don't know, do you, I don't want to say respect. There is, an, a, there is a small amount of kudos that you got to give this man because, I mean, look at his number one copycat that basically just mirrored everything he does, was able to almost make as good a living as Archie doing what he does. But he has no 10 years of fucking, uh, you know, prior work, no no years and years of building up a YouTube profile. We, sure, we it's so easy to think of Archie as being a lazy sluggo. But is he really? I mean... Go back and look at this guy's library of content, okay? And I know that, that there's a lot of people that, you know, have started this boycott of, you know, supporting Archie, boycott, no more Super Chats, why, why, why reward bad behavior, okay? But is it bad behavior or it's, is it just 10 years, 12 years of being in one of the most vicious fucking uh, industries which Archie is, and I'm not making excuses. I'm not simping. I mean, I'm one of those people that self-reflects and wonders, why? Why do I do this? And I mean, I actually thank. I want to thank people like Doc's Report, Croppy, you know, uh, OC, many of these fucking pontificators that sit there and analyze the bad behavior, not only of Archie, but also of the people who support him, also of the people that send Super Chats and PayPals, right? I mean, you have to take them. They make you self-reflect. And in the end, you know, it's always up to each individual what they want to do. Do you want to support this? Do you like this as entertainment? Is this disgusting? Are we pimps? Are we prostitutes? What are we? But when you peel it all back, the truth is this, okay? All these people telling us their opinions all sprung board off of Archie, Okay? So there has to be something to be said for that, right? So let me take you guys for a little walk. I mean, there was, a, and, I, and I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you 
how people could interpret these things so differently than us. And it just happens. I mean, it just happens. I mean, the more people use Archie as content, the more they use them to be relevant, you know, the more of these kind of people you get out there. Now, why? Are they disgruntled? Do they feel overshadowed? Uh, why do they project? I mean, it's so easy now. You know, the great thing about the Archieverse is it teaches you, even though this is not what we do, we don't want to, we don't want to look at people's characters and judge people's characters. We're not here for that, you know. I don't want to know uh, what 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 this what's going through a person's mind to bring him into this state where he's basically completely obsessed with Archie, completely obsessed with Archie. I mean, who isn't obsessed with Archie? Do you telling me Doc's report's not obsessed with Archie? He's not obsessed with the people that surround Archie, but yet he claims to be independent. Yet he claims to be, you know, a spiritual leader of who? Of himself? So there's a lesson to be learned when a person like this views what we think is entertainment, what we think is fun, what we think is drama, whatever it may be, okay? He's definitely not a watch enthusiast. He's definitely obsessed with Archie. He's in the Archieverse, but he has a hard time you know, dealing with the truth. And the truth is, is that there's nobody that enjoys the Archieverse more than Doc's report. There's nobody that enjoys the struggles of Archie and his panelists and the people who support him more than Doc's report. Doc's report's relevance in life is the Archieverse. Am I wrong? Am I wrong, boys and girls? Let's see. I want to pay a little attention to what's going on here. What do we got here? Hey, we got a we we we're being live streamed. Uh, Webel, we're being Webel streamed right now by Tim Wright, and pretty soon uh, we're going to be Rebel streamed by. Let me show you guys. <laughs> Believe it or not, boys and girls, the uh, the anarchy is real. Hang on a second. Let me show you. Let me show you. Look who's. Look what we got coming up, boys and girls. Look at that. We got OC and the Higgy Meister. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Wait a right, minute. Rightly so, in my opinion. They're live right now. Deep dish pizza, yeah. Now, we have a civilian here. Now, I consider Mr. Thomas G. He's a complete and utter civilian, a sweetheart of a man, okay? But where's OC? British pizza. And I said, this is a mess oh, look, of all look, kinds of decorations. Our, our who are CEO. Very complicated to make. Uh, that isn't, uh, that, that isn't, uh, that isn't uh, there is no. Uh, look at the rancher. Snooze fest. It. But snooze to me, it's fest. just too much. It's it's too much on the case flanks with the. Uh, with the guillotage. Oh, guillotage. Um, guillotage. That does the guillotage. So Remember, sure same guy. Really same guy. You know, done, this guy. How much is really uh, machine done? Uh, Here's another guy that hates to I, admit Archie. The, last week's show pass is a I bigger think celebrity. I had a very good comparison or a Look very a good there we analogy. Go. You hear the voice? Uh, uh, what I see. Here's in a this guy that hates watch. to admit. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the thoughts that go through Higgy's mind when he sees Archie being the fucking the 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 recognized celebrity in horology, and this poor guy. I mean, what is he? <laughs> He's got seven people watching. <laughs> so this guy, how many times? How many times has poor Higgy, poor Higgy, poor Higgy? Look at and this. And when we're going Allah, to the car world, yeah, Patel. Uh, this actually is uh, what uh, what so I. So I don't want to concentrate I look, with this particular. Look, Thomas G is a sweetheart of a man. You know, I don't want to make him collateral. But I mean, listen to this. You watch now. Let me. Yeah, here, delusional fantasies. Here's another guy. Say it again. You know, there's another channel. You could, you could, uh, you could, hey, chalk it up, chalk it up to Archie Luxury. Just imagine all the channels that sprouted from the original OG. See, that's what's funny to me. So, the thing that we got to figure out are we enablers, boys and girls? Uh, does Archie deserve these accolades that we shower upon him? Super chats. PayPal's, do we want to send this man around the world to represent 
Do we? Does he represent horology, or does he just represent the greatest soap opera in the history of YouTube horology? I mean, come on, guys. Isn't that fantastic? Isn't it great to be able to enjoy, have a blue-collar sense of humor, enjoy your watches, enjoy your luxury goods, and enjoy it through the eyes and antics of Archie Luxury and crew? Is there anything better? I mean, is there anything better than entering high society with a guy like Archie? Come on. Oh, man, listen, look at that. We got Dodger, 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 25 Polish dollars. Had the greatest time meeting the guys in the Archieverse. Exactly, Dodger, exactly. And it doesn't matter what Archie says. You know, at least Archie, the one thing you got to res- I- I- I admire about Archie is he cut, cut and dry. He tells you all the time what he is. I mean, and we're going to get to that. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the actual stream that Doc's report, which is private, by the way. I don't know why it was made private, but the stream that I'm going to play was made private. And we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, let's, let's just analyze this together. Let's analyze this together of how people, and they have the right to do it, can interpret the events that happen in such a different manner, in such, what I'd have to say, an envious, jealous, and, and, you know, hateful manner. I mean, I don't hate to use that word, but it kind of is. I mean, when somebody is, I think of Doc's report as that movie that Wesley Snipe was in. You know, the fan, and the fan was Robert De Niro. That's basically Doc's report to me. I mean, that's basically Doc's report to me. But Doc's report is one of those disgruntled, envious, jealous fans that doesn't want to admit to himself that Archie is the celebrity that we all live vicariously through when we're in the mood to see drama, to see trolling, to see people, you know, misused, to see a classless fucking thing happen, you know? No need for interventions, no need for, for, you know, try to motivate, no need for any of that. I mean, Archie tells you what he is all the time. Hey, listen, my heart goes out to the people who actually try to motivate him because... Yeah, we were doing that a long time ago, but in the end, you feel, you know, you end up realizing you only got two choices, accept him for what he is or find some other form of entertainment, right? So, and I hate to say it, but there's a lot, a lot of people and it's usually people, there's, it's very rare that you find like people like JJ and Mookie that start their own channels and make, you know, put their own twist onto, uh, you know, onto springboarding off Archie. And I'm, I mean, they have no problem saying that. I mean, JJ's got no... JJ had the biggest beef, the soy wars with Archie. But see, he made it work. He was like, listen, I'm going to get what I want to get out of this content. Nothing wrong with that. But I'm also going to put my own twist on it. So what he does is he expresses himself as himself. And he shined on, on Archie's platform. And he does it in a respectful and manner which everybody enjoys, right? Same thing with Mookie. Now, these guys, you know, what I call haters, they're just basically satellites of Tim Wright and the, and the Tim Wright attitude and the Tim Wright feelings towards Archie. Same thing with OC. And they want to project their actual envy, hatred. Uh, you know, they project it from their platforms they try to project it on others, but when you peel it back, Archie is Archie. Archie's always been Archie, but these guys are actually jealous, envious haters who actually try to take advantage and and take money. Um, that's you know that, that that's actually that that's a grift that Archie invented. It, it, you could call it a grift. You could call it whatever you want. You know. But it's funny, it's funny to take a look at the, at the, I don't know. It's funny to take a look at some of these channels and actually see what they're expressing. Are we the haters because somebody talks too loud? Are, are we the haters or, or are we the enablers? Or is it just what it, all, what it always has been? Just a place for people to go and live vicariously through a guy that's faulted, but also a guy that actually built a reputation and built a celebrity he is a celebrity you can say whatever you want 
Archie is a celebrity. Name me one of the big watch channels that hasn't paid some kind of homage to Archie. You know? And the thing is, Archie could have, with a little effort, Archie could have fucking, uh, could have been a Nico Leonard. Could have been, he could have. I mean, O'Sheen started on Archie's channel. Nico blew up off of Archie's channel, did he not? I mean, am I wrong? You guys help me out. Tell me. You know, Teddy Baldazar, uh, Frederico. These guys all had complimentary things to say about Archie, but they also said that he's crazy, he's this, he's that. He's himself. He's been himself the whole fucking time. Works for them, and they're pain-free. Uh, who am I to say? So remember, this is the guy, this is the guy that uh, you... made an announcement that he was leaving the Archieverse because the decrepit and degeneracy had reached a, a, a point to where he couldn't stand it anymore. Remember? The adultery. I mean, Archie's going on his third marriage maybe maybe fourth who gives a fuck you're gonna judge a guy for that we should judge ourselves for for loving this entertainment and drama best male soap opera ever he's on there four days a, uh, a week this guy's not nato, sounding too we'll good nato here uh, i release me <laughs> there's our man <laughs> nato i'm free okay very good so we're gonna i mean do you think it bothers Doc's report that he can't convince a core Archie audience, you know, to leave the fucking cult of the living dead and go under his tutorship, his leadership, spiritually centered. This sick fuck. I mean, and he is a sick fuck. I mean, he's empty. He's chosen. His obsession with Archie is how he makes himself relevant on YouTube. Other than that, he knows he's done it many, many times. Tried to pivot off of Archie. But he always comes back. He, he's a number one fan of Archie. Touch on uh, some areas, um, politics. Going to do some Trump. We're going to do some Florida governor, South Dakota nobody's, governor. Nobody's on, on yeah. Doc's channel for Ooh, Trump. You, you were right all along, Docs. And I'm thinking he's always been. Oh, you hear that? Let's see what he just said. All of a sudden, you're, you know, they're saying, well, you, you were right all along, Docs. And I'm thinking... He's always been that way. What, what? You were right all along, the hawks. <laughs> yeah. well, that uh, you didn't see before. Bad audio right now. Docs has got so bad I, audio. I did get my f flu uh, vaccination. So oh, riveting flu like vaccinations. Keep talking about gone. yourself. Nobody's That's there for that. Great. I don't have to go through the seven days because my bones were aching, my muscles ached. Seventy-year-old achy uh, bakey. You know, just didn't feel good at all. AD never calling. NATO's out there. Oh, right? there he, he is, is Patrick. <laughs> okay, NATO, congratulations. boy. okay, congratulations. Yeah, you know, this is what I like to, re you know what I like to refer to this as a common audience. Uh, so, I, but I did, I forgot I had to, I got up this morning and I have to get gas. I don't have to, but I make it a kind of a ritual. To see, now what, what I like to call the people that go and see him is... If he doesn't give them Archie content, he that's the only way he could captivate his audience. He wants a captive audience. And then what he does is he sprinkles in benign, boring parts of his own life. So if you want to turn that microscope of, uh, you know, analyzing somebody, what Doc's Report is doing right now is he's using an audience that came from the Archieverse, Okay. He's trying to captivate him with Archie drama, but then he's got to sprinkle in little things of his own life. Because why? Because he ain't got nobody in the real world to do this with. To go to Sam's Club early in the morning. So I pushed the water. That, that's helping me. And I did get up there. And I do have a cough button, thank goodness. Remember how, remember how he described... I mean, Archie basically told us all he's a prostitute. And the people that work for him have to be prostitutes just like him. How does this guy describe himself? Well, he's a spiritually centered, mentally centered, everyday millionaire who has worked his way up to one of the greatest views that a man could ever wish for in his retirement age, right? Ah. Hey, hey, Bobby, come on, Bobby. Let's go. Come on, Bobby. <laughs> You got the, you, I knew you would get the reference. You remember that movie, The Fan? <laughs> that was our man, JJ. And Bobby, Bobby was Wesley Snipes, the fucking uh, all, uh, uh, 
all-star baseball player that uh, Robert De Niro was obsessed in. The movie, the fan. I mean, literally, Docs is a... He's basically a parody of that movie, The Fan. This is a Which long Which I will post. be using today. Here we go. So I told you about the fox squirrel. Okay, some now, more of, of Doc's everyday life. But, oh, oh, look at this. Look you? at this. Dirk Diggler. I got scolded for thinking he is an MPD. No, no. See, Dirk. I don't know if Dirk, is Dirk in here? Dirk, what you have to understand, it's very easy to frame somebody as an MPD when you take out the fact that he never mentions that Archie's a celebrity, okay? What celebrity can't be framed as an MPD? What celebrity? I mean, you could say whatever you want, buddy, but Archie is and has been in, in this genre of luxury goods, especially watches, Okay, how many people do you think that Archie influenced? See, nobody wants to admit Archie's an influencer. Archie's been an influencer before they even invented the word influencer. He's a fucking celebrity. And he is a high-maintenance, fucking disorganized, dysfunctional talent. He just is. Nobody, what, you know, replace the word MPD with celebrity, Okay. And, and 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 that's it. That's Archie Luxury. What you think that you think Doc's report wishes, wishes, wishes he could get the attention that Archie gets. You uh Dirk Diggler, I got scolded for thinking he's a narcissistic personality disorder. You didn't get who how how could how could a fucking four a fifty year old man be scolded, Dirk? How could a fit why are you playing along with this man's narrative, Dirk? You're an OG over here, Dirk. You're an influencer over here, Dirk. You're a talent over here, Dirk. Who scolded you, Dirk? Who attacked you, Dirk? Why are you using these SJW words, Dirk? See, this is the influence that you have by going by Doc, Doc's report. Dirk, are you are you investing in S, S fucking, uh, the S&P 500 fucking mutual funds, IRAs? Oh, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got breaking news. Hang on a second, boys and girls. Hang on a second. Thank you very much, M. Breaking news. Somebody's getting yelled at. Let's see who it is. See, this is this is the stuff. This is the contributions that actually matter. Let's see what's happening here. Oh, somebody's getting yelled at. See, hey, listen, guys. This is the next mental jock. This is the next blondie. This is the next person that we have to recruit into the Archieverse, right here. Let's see what's happening. Oh. Okay, okay, calm down, Vimal. Fucking... Huh? started making all kinds of accusations about what the left is doing, blah, blah. That's all. No, that is what they're doing. I, I, this is the guy that we need, man. He's the Pakistani fucking assassin. We need this Vamil. Vemel, Vamil. Guys, listen, anybody that ever goes into Tim Wright's uh, uh, chat, please, we got to recruit Vamil. We have to recruit this guy. This guy is like sod on testosterone. You don't see how many criminals are being prosecuted. It has nothing to do with the subject at hand. The subject at hand is Vamil. You see the kind of drama that we miss when we're not paying attention? This is turmoil. This is why, this is why Tim Wright is face planting right and left. Archie is blowing this guy out of the water. And we got Doc's reports figure to prove it. Don't believe me. Believe Doc. Recommendations, okay? Tim D, it's fucking Vimal. It's not Vimal, you uh, wasty I'm, I'm, shit. I'm sorry. Wow, you're very angry. Whoa! Yeah, did he, what did he just you just call him? Uh, wasty I'm, shit. I'm, I'm sorry. Wow, you're very angry too now. Yeah, you just uh, shut the fuck up. You mean Mr. Archie? Link, uh, Link for Vimal. Uh, Link for Vimal. We need this guy. We need this guy. You're Vimal. You're Vimal. This guy's passionate, man. Vimeo. This, Vimeo. Is Vimeo. Pa Vimeo. This, Vimeo. this is the kind of panelist you This is the kind of panelist you want. It's not Vimal, you asshole. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Let's just relax. It's Vimal. It's not Vimal, you asshole. Hey, you know what these guys are doing, guys. This is what you call Tim trying to get super chats from drama. All right. You're Vimeo. You have a foreign accent. It's Vimeo. It's not Vimeo, you Sorry. asshole. Okay, calm down. Calm down. I'm Let's sorry. just relax. Vimeo, I'm serious. Go grab a glass of water. Just calm down. We'll I'm push that water. I'm going to ask him to fucking pronounce my name properly. If he uh, can't, I'm then sorry. shut, shut right, the fuck up. I'm sorry, okay? You just move on. 
All right. Some people are not very good. No, at no, no. Tim, Tim, these people have been telling you for days how to pronounce Jamal. the name. If you Jamal. can't, Jamal. just shut the Jamal. fuck up, you douchebag. Jamal. Okay, okay, calm down, Jamal. Calm down. Relax. Just relax. Okay, so calm down. We should have taken you over a long time ago, too. Mm. So just calm down. My God. Enough. How's Thank the audio, you, guys? Jamal. Can you hear it? Okay. I'm not sorry. good. I'm Indeed. sorry. I'm sorry. Right. I was so yelling. Be cool, dude. You're too hot headed. Okay. okay, let's just do this correctly. Let's just okay. This I'm is sorry. the guy that I'm we need. We need the meal. Jamal and Tim G. Let's just do it like as educated people, okay? Let's, let's not try just do it as educated people. Let's just do it as educated Two. people. Don't get all heated up, right? With whatever, with the theories, all right? Let's just stick to simple things. guys. We need your help. We need to recruit this man. V I M A L, the meal. The meal is already in my. He, he watches my show. He comes. He. Oh and, my God! We need this George. guy. Yeah, we great. need this man. He came over with George Vargas. The same fact time. and have an adult conversation. Uh, come on, Timmy! Let's, come on. Adult, let's have an adult conversation. <laughs> you don't talk back to me. You show some respect. Without people like me, you're nothing. We were the ones that got you your forty fucking million. <laughs> We got to get Docs reenacting that. <laughs> that was funny. I forgot about that. Bobby! Bobby! Oh, like, come on, Bobby. Come here, Bobby. Come on. And he starts clapping when he claps. He's like, come on, Bobby. Come on. <laughs> oh, my God. I like when he tells them, without people like me, you're nothing. We got you. You're 40 fucking million. Yeah, t t you know what? You, you That's know one that of the best movies. I love that movie. Yeah, I, I do too. You know that. You know the funny thing is, I, I know you don't like talking about this fucking one eyed grifter, but the funny thing is, dude, he's so rattled. He's trying everything, different time slots, different. In this guy, Vamil went over fucking big time. I hope that he's not playing along with Tim. I hope that this guy's no, truly the, is like. Vamil's kind of tired of him. He that's why I think he came over a couple a couple weeks ago when George Varghese came over. And he's been uh, watching the show and enjoying it. They call him the wrong name on purpose. They know his name. They're just doing this to have a, a an explosion of for super chats. You know what it is. It's the same same shit over and over. But but, but uh, I mean, this guy uh, uh, is he is he like uh, is he like uh, uh, is he doing this because he just wants to go back to watch talk, or is this or is or is he like he's enjoying his drama? What's your take on him? Wait, say it is is Tim you talking about? No, no, Vamil, Vamil. No, because Vimal, 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 you gotta, you gotta get his Vimal, name. Vimal. Vimal. Okay. He uh, no, he likes the watch talk. He he definitely enjoys the watch talk. He, so he he's almost it's he almost like he's trying to do an intervention with Tim. The Paul Thorpe fighting and all that shit. Yeah, he doesn't want to hear that shit no more. Mm -hmm. I I played that on my channel. I mean, he was letting him fucking have it. That's when uh, Blondie jumped on with him. But this is pretty good. I just I got an all points bulletin. He's exploding on yeah, yeah, go for it. And then we'll we'll talk about this, okay? I really like this guy. Jesus Christ. Uh Logan Hall, two dollars super chat. PG, two dollars super chat. Tim. Well, I guess I it's work. Hey, I guess it's working. I guess it's working. He's getting the super chats. How can I make that happen? Leave the door open. It sure ain't uh, happening like, on the uh, dungeon. <laughs> Mike and Josh did. Vamil. Vamil. Uh, I gotta make remember a video. Oh, thank you. I got it from the throne. Oh, another five dollars. Are they going cordial let's now? Let's get back to what? Let's, yes. just, let's just talk. Okay. I don't like this are, Tim are G you guy. Originally from India, or do you, or, or are you a India? Are, He's Pakistani. Are you a Can uh, obviously a Canadian citizen, but are you originally from India, uh -oh. or did you, or were you born in Canada? No, I was born in India. Oh, he is Indian. Indian. Okay. Yeah. You're thinking All right, so you have two passports, correct? Our CEO's got to get involved in this. He's got to. He's got to talk to. He's got to talk a little uh, Hindi to Vamal. No, I have just one. I have my apologize life, and that's our in any event in Vamal. All yeah, right, so we're we're good. Okay, yeah. I mean, make because thinking about what the police is doing. Is that the last of the explosion to commit crime? Steal cars solely to steal cars. All right. No. Left. Mark on the street. Relax. Black cards. Oh, you okay. need to be the fucking That's the fucking mistake. problem. You can't just you can't just start yelling for five minutes straight and just bring in all kinds of useless garbage 
I am not bringing you, thing. you are bringing useless no. garbage because you, you are the one who is siding with the criminals here. This is why nothing gets no, stay done. Stay on the subject. Stay on the subject, okay? Yeah, let's stay on the subject. Okay. This guy's stay good, JJ. So just relax. Yeah, yeah, Take I a like chill it. pill. You have a chill pill there? Take a chill pill. Take a breath. Because you're yelling, now I'm yelling. And then the roommate is freaking out, all right? You need to calm your ass down right now. Why is she freaking out? It's only it's do 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, let's right? have it. Stop screaming about the lefties, blah, blah, blah. Shut the fuck up. It has nothing to do with anything. It has everything to do about lefties. You, you shut the fuck up, Tim. It has everything to do with people <laughs> like you who vote for these fucking dumbasses who don't prosecute done? these criminals, keep letting them out done? every fucking time they do a crime so they can keep repeating it day in and day in and day out. That's why watch crimes are through the roof. Property crimes are you through the roof. You don't know any of that's that. Why you're bringing every in criminal... too many variables. You don't know what you're talking about. Let's talk well, about... No, what are the variables? No, oh, so I... this, is, this seems to be Marxist versus capitalist. Oh, I've been down capitalist. this road many times. I feel bad for Vimal. Whenever you confront him with actual numbers and facts, he hits you with abstract ideas. That And then he says, well, you know, it could be anything. No, but it's it's been figured out with numbers. Then people... All with right. brain cells actually can figure out things and pinpoint and come up with numbers he doesn't want to hear that he just wants to live you know what's going to be great when he gets robbed and and fucked up bad then i want to see his tune change i'm gonna say but tim this is what you want you said this is what you you're for the you know yeah but for this but jj he is being robbed he is being robbed as we every fucking weekend every <laughs> every three days a week he is being robbed and, and you know what the yeah. funny thing is uh, I, I actually, you were on the panel with this, uh, with this, uh, you know, this stream that Doc's report uh, put on Twitch is actually made was made private. I don't know why, but I got it, and you were on it, and I just, I, you know what? I'm glad that you got time. I, I'm, I'd like to get your take on it because I think that Archie was just fucking saying the honest to God's truth. I mean, I, I look at Archie as a temperamental celebrity that wants to be paid for 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 his time. Yeah, I got only a few minutes, but yes, I will. Uh... All right, so let me read this real quick. Zeppi, $2, two editors, one producer, and AC3 would make bank. Yeah, that's yeah, but exactly to what Nico him. told Archie the other day. Yeah, yeah it ain't going to happen. And we got McLovin is giving me $2, Kanakistan's Curly, say it with me. Okay. <sighs> I'm going to relax, McLovin. Okay. Vimal, Vimal, Vimal. Oh, you're doing to me what I do to uh, Marcelo. You say it three times. Okay, I got you. Vimal, Vimal, Vimal. Okay, I'm going to remember it. I really like this, man. I really like this, man. John Swatch, $2. Obvious Tim never owned a car or property. Well, yeah. He I, still we know lives that. with his parents, what do you, and he's 40. What do you expect? Are you going to bring racism into this? Are you going to say, that, oh, there's racism, that's why people are committing crimes? Is oh, that what you're going to say, gonna right? No, you need are to take a, take, take a chill pill. Take a chill pill, Lamal. I'm serious. Go grab a glass right, of water. We already heard this part. Let's see. Okay? It. Okay? No. no. Oh, the no, no, they, they did not say, say how you're going to protect stop, stop, you stop. from arresting these criminals. No, no one there's is MCM arrested. and Coda. They said to prevent the possibility of being attacked in your home. If you leave, right, so they're they're talking politics. You know what? That this is not. This just happened. So I'm 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 gonna. I'm going to get back to what I wanted to cover, which was our global watch industry reporter and his take, the way he sees and always sees Archie, which was, like I said, a bit of projection and uh, a lot, a lot of obsession. Bobby, this guy, what was the... Uh, what was the what was the what was the uh, fan's name? What was what was the the Gil. De Niro? Gil Renard. I have Gil. Read. Gil. That's it. Gil. <laughs> you say my name? Gil Renard. <laughs> no, I did it. Oh, <laughs> Gil Renard. Guys, I'm telling you, if you want a a, a a a wrapped up explanation of Doc's report, it's basically the fan. It's the movie, the fan. Great movie. Explains everything. Checks all the boxes, and we'll get into it. So the golf cart, uh, you know, you've heard the expression, you, you make up your mind, you know, you're, you're, uh, JJ, he's, uh, he's, you know, he's got his, uh, he's got his golf cart listed on Craigslist. He had, what do you get a golf cart for? No, no. He's selling the, you know, that golf cart that he had, he's selling it. No, I didn't know he had one. Why'd he buy one for what? 
Oh no, he had it. It came with the house. The people oh. that died. But listen to this. I'm, I want to. I want to. I'm not lying. This is golf cart 2008 DS with back seat ATV UTV snowmobile. So that's where it's listed under Craigslist. Mm -hmm. 25 horsepower gas golf cart. A lovely, robust, and running four-stroke passenger golf cart. <laughs> lovely, robust, and running, boys. Hey. So, hey. I mean, I, I don't know. I never heard that described, but. That's a very strong. Uh, that's how you get things done. It always begins in the mind. Uh, oh, well, what does he know? His voice has sounded very shaky. Oh, what does he know? What, that's what does me. Curly know? I don't know anything. Curly doesn't know anything. I know. You, uh, Dirk, Dirk, and he's really going after crappy, but that's that's another, that's another thing. Hey, I know, Dano, you told me. Okay, right, good for you. I walked by and I said, that, I, "That's it. I got to get. I'm not. He's. I'm not using he's, it. I don't want to store it any longer." You know when he when he play, when he shows Archie's playboard figures and they're a little down, he plays the sinking ship and eh, 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 the alarm and all that stuff. Watch this. I find this funny. Longer. And and this is the influence in. of OC uh, on the crappy channel it. on the Doc's it's channel. It's gone. So I, I, I put a Craig's uh, list floor. Yeah, uh, we don't so want to talk up a pretty about good market, life. See what I get by uh, people, uh, businesses, and for sale by owner. And it's like, oh, my God. So I'm competing against everyone. So I make, I do pretty Wednesday for some reason. I got to go to the gym. I was just thinking about this guy like. Okay, mumble jumbo about for Doc's it, luxury watch. Patrick B. Right. There's our boss, for those Patel Philippe. Patel Philippe, Doc's, will you be stopping by the Elite Horology, Urology channel? Elite Horology. Yeah, he's got eight Who's people watching that, his channel right now. Is that the uh, uh, JJ? duo uh, OC <laughs> and uh, Higgy Baby? I don't want to make a note of it. I might. Docs, will you be stopping by the Elite Horology channel today at four to see the latest iteration of Higgy Baby with the damn dirty globalist? No, no. You know where I got that phrase from? Here we That's go. from Planet of the Apes, the first one. You know. Now remember, this is this is a, a guy like Crappy that. Uh, well, Crappy. Crappy said that he was leaving YouTube, but then, you know, uh, obviously, obviously. The, the real the Crappy's dead, you know. Yeah, this is a new kind of mean and. Uh, yeah. I mean, he's. Yeah, he. Well, actually, Doc's report's kind of funny. Doc's report kind of gives his take on Crappy on this, which is which is kind of good. But I, I like the I like the fact. I like the fact of how judgmental he gets on uh, on Archie. Never, never, ne you know, basically calling us enablers, cult of the living dead. You notice the regular stuff. Yes. But it's this. It's this. He's obsessed with this clip that he put up on on Twitch, and his take on it is just so whacked out. I don't. I don't get it. Okay. This is. Look at this. What is it? Now, right now, with these numbers, and, 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 you know, the funny thing is, you notice something that Docs does, and like I said, this is the influence of always showing Archie in a bad light. He doesn't have the Horology Dungeon on here. Horology Dungeon, uh, with the Gonzo streaming and all the stuff from uh, from uh, Thailand, uh, made over two two grand. So that's not added to this. But look at look at Tim, 46 bucks last night, 277 This is Tim's take. Yeah, Tim's cool. been face planting for two months now because, you know, hey. he, go ahead. No, I'm saying he's still making almost four grand a month, though. I don't feel bad for him. Now, this Hopefully is goes on down March 22nd, so that would be Friday. And I have, I can never see the top of that. Uh, hang on. I feel bad. Uh, see show notes he feel bad he feels bad for timmy i mean you got this this is a guy who did i mean and jj you could you could confirm this why did doc support start his channel doc support started his channel in the middle of the soy wars because he wants that to be a safe space for any people that are disgruntled in the archieverse and he he wants to be the leader of that cult the disgruntled cult i want to give you the complete rundown what does that say okay up in the top left it's youtube uh, channel uh, you Super Chat dollars, your money again. wasted. The nine year old, the hobo. Now, is your money wasted? Is your money wasted by fucking supporting entertainment that you like? I don't know. That's an individual, that's everybody's individual prerogative to do that. I don't, I don't believe so. 
I, I, I am completely unplugged, and my, my only form of entertainment comes in, in the Archieverse, and I love it. I don't know. Am I, am I a pimp? Am I an enabler? Am I in a cult? Sexual yes. and blue. <laughs> Thank Going you. Going up against Timmy. Uh, $277 for the homosexual. Last seven day, 1852. There's a 70% take home, 1296.40. Yeah. Now, do you know how, how vested you have to be to you you're basically what you're going to see next is this guy has a transcript verbatim word for word because like i said the stream was made private so he couldn't pull a transcript off of youtube so how does this guy get a transcript who gets a form who does it i don't know does he do it himself but you're gonna see a guy this guy this guy has invested hours and hours if not days into this stream that he does because he's an obsessed fan. He is a fan of a guy who he will never admit. He'd rather refer to Archie as an MPD, and he'll never refer to Archie to what he is. He's a celebrity in this watch bubble that we fucking love, this soap opera that we like. Now, this hey, thanks he to said Jamie. He's going to start following Marcelo. What happened? He's not following him? I thought he was following the numbers. Mm, I, I, I have no idea. Who knows? It, it, it's it, it was probably just because of the Thailand thing. What I mean, Maybe. this guy following Marcelo, really? Curly, I'm gonna hop. I'm gonna listen though. I gotta just. Do yeah, something. yeah. All right. Last thirty days, nine thousand five hundred thirty-six dollar. That gives him. Let me do this. You know what? I didn't. I didn't have the. I don't have the link pinned or the pin link or the pin pin pin. I'll drop it a couple of times if somebody wants to come on and do it. I'm just going to do color commentary, give my opinion. I'll try not to do it by being the screaming, hateful maniac. The screaming, hateful maniac. I mean, who is the really obsessed hater? I mean, this is, to me, when I look at this, I see a calm, empty, lifeless, you know, man sitting on a fucking golf course in a bird cage with nothing else to do but be obsessed. I see an obsessed fan. You know, and it's kind of alarming that this guy's building up a arsenal of ammunition, guns, silencers. I mean, can we have a fatal attraction on our hands, boys and girls? 6,675, the 70% take home. Now, this is not a yearly total. This is playboard since they've been keeping Oh, track. really? And I don't I don't know the time. You don't me. say. And, uh, Three hundred and forty-two dollars. You throw in the dungeon. And the, other, the other thing that's scary, boys. Listen, listen to the, listen to the projection in his voice. I mean, is he playing a character? Does is this guy trapped in his own fucking movie? Forty-two thousand thirty-five dollars. Grand total of five hundred ninety-two thousand three hundred seventy-seven dollar. Nobody can touch him. But it's all gone. <gasps> Can't touch this. Ding, ding, Timmy, ding, ding. Timmy's in trouble. Dun, dun. You can't survive on forty-six dollars. Oh, Timmy's in trouble. He's kind of losing it over there. You know. Oh, he's him. not. Oh, he's not. How's Timmy in trouble? You think his mom's gonna evict him if he's short on the rent? People would. People are calling him a grifter and, uh, and prostitute. He's kind of he wants to argue with him like a college professor. Like he, he's got to make some money. Well, get a job. <laughs> You're better off. Hey, Mikey. Can't touch this. Can't touch it. Boom, 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 boom. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. What do you think, Mikey? You feel like doing some drama? <laughs> fuck the, fuck the nine thirty talk. Fuck all that stuff. What do you think about this guy, this Doc's guy? I know you don't know him. Uh, I, I, I know him more than I think you maybe know. Um, uh, originally, a long time ago, uh, producer Mark and Doc's and myself were going to start a little uh, a channel. Um, and was going to be talking about cars and stuff like that, but um, it, producer Mark uh, required it to start at like six in the morning my time. I could, I just couldn't do it, so it didn't happen. You know, um, pe people forget people forget that Doc's Doc's report used to do panels, didn't he? Well, I mean, you know, we'd we'd uh, had a a, a a few few shows, a couple of shows that we did together, and. Um, you know, I've 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 been on fine terms with him. Never had any negative uh, interaction with him to date. So yeah, I'm, Mike, ha I'm happy you, about you know, that. Do you know what he calls you? 
I don't even care what he calls me. Oh, I know, but I'm, but I mean, uh, uh, like I said, you, Mike, you got to go along with the narrative here. Sure, oh, what, not what, the what, narrative, what, but he he calls you me? Mike the Pet Cat. He says that you're the number one uh, cult member in the cult of the living dead. We're all. I'm in the cult of the living dead. <laughs> you're in That's the cult, great. but you're the pet cat. You're the pet cat. Uh, I'm fine with that. Sure. Now, Mike, do you think that this guy's full of jealousy, envy, that? That Archie gets so much attention as being a, a a celebrity in the in in this genre, and you think maybe that's what Lux is driven. By, I mean, what 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 Doc's report is driven by? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I couldn't I I couldn't really say. I don't I don't put it that much. I haven't even put that much energy into thinking about him. Well, um. He- yeah, but I mean, see, these, these we got, we got this guy. Uh, we have a common audience that's shared with him. I mean, he he tries to influence people that come into Archie's chat and stuff. I mean, you know, did you ever remember people calling you a pet cat? No, no, nobody's ever called me a pet cat. Well, this guy has, and he wants people to call you a pet cat. I mean, he uses you as an example of the number one cult member of of the oh, cult of the pet living cat. Dead. Is a nice. I mean, that's that's the nicest thing anybody's called me in a long time. <laughs> Hang on a second, Mikey. Mikey, read. You got a super chat, Mike. Patel Philippe, Mike the Snake. You're my favorite character on the show. Yay! Hey. Absolutely, Mike. Absolutely, and it is a show, isn't love, it, Mike? Love you, Patel. Love you, Tan. Thank you, Tan. Um, it, it is a show, yeah. right? Yeah. And now, f- wait, the- wait, 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 Mike. For us to have a show, what is the show? What is the show centered around? It's centered around who? Archie. Okay. Don't you think that Archie, instead of this guy always calling him uh, an NPD, see, he says that uh, that Archie is an NPD, and we enjoy Archie because he's an NPD. You know what an NPD is? No. It's a, that's a that's a. It, donor it, no 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 it's a it's a narcissist oh, okay. okay now okay. would you agree that archie's a bit of a celebrity right sure okay so you know how easy it is to misdiagnose a celebrity as a narcissist because if you're a celebrity you kind of got to be you got to kind of got to yeah, fit the gotta, mold of a narcissist you, you got, yeah i think um self-centered think right uh, like uh, well I think a celebrity and and narcissist like overlap a little bit in de- in their definition, you know. Uh, so you know, Mike, you are. I couldn't ask for more perfect panelists. Let's let's let this this happen this morning, okay? And I'd love to hear your take on it as a as a as a as a bystander, as a guy who's not in the, you know, not in the drama and stuff. I want to get your first impression of what Dox is saying here, okay? Okay. So basically what he's doing is he's reviewing the money. This is what he does every week. He reviews the money that Archie brings in. You know, oh, if yeah. you see it I up see here, it says here. per yeah, day, mm-hmm. last seven days, and then yep. the month. Yep. Yesterday, $46,922, last seven days. There's the 70%, 645 36 And he's basically right now, Mikey, so just so you know, even though he doesn't want to admit it, he is obsessed with, with Archie. You know like the movie The Fan, Wesley Snipes and Robert De Niro? You know, I've never seen the movie, but I... Oh, you got to see it. You got to uh, see it because that explains Doc's report to the T. Plus, he's a satellite. He's kind of a satellite channel of Tim Wright's. And here's his number one fan. Look at his number one fan. Ha ha! We know why Docs no longer does panels. AD never calling. Ha <laughs> Patrick. 27. Easy the last 30 days. There's his total 212,577. You think, does, does Docs report now, sound well, like he's uh, come to spiritually now, this is today. Uh-oh. He's going to talk this about Marcelo. Today. This is not good for Marcelo. Uh-oh. A YouTube channel, Super Chat Dollars. So he's basically one of these guys, Mikey, that says nobody should send money to Archie. Nobody should send money and uh, support Archie because we enable Archie's narcissism. We enable his mental illness. So he's calling Archie yeah. mentally ill. Right? Archie, Archie provides so much fucking entertainment to everybody through being imperfect and and uh, human and... Uh, and flawed, narcissistic flawed. and everything else that everybody calls him he's he's guilty of it all um and uh he's so, a flawed man he's a flawed man oh as we, as we all are 
Exactly, but, um, Mikey. He, he's he's he is you know he is the uh, the nucleus of the Archieverse and and basically of all the watch streams that have sprang from that and uh, so that's why you know uh, like my allegiance is always to Archie because he's the king. He will always be the king. Do you and, think he has a Julius Caesar type complex, Mikey? Or do you think it's just because he's a, he's a high maintenance celebrity? Uh, Docs or, or Archie? Archie. Um, no, I just think he's a uh, high maintenance. I think I think he's like lately, you know, he seems like uh, he's been kind of getting a little bit better. Uh, but you know, for a little while there, he's pre- pretty detached and pretty. He's got a lot of shit going on in his personal life, and so it's kind of you know giving off the vibe of not caring as much and and he wasn't as engaged during the streams and you know thank god for bear um the show's always better when bears on because bear you know pokes him and uh and, Dox and calls him. bear generalissimo he's generalissimo yeah 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 but let's um, continue let's continue know. mikey let's continue i want i'm, I'm actually I'm, i want your honest opinion when we're done with with this uh obsessed fan what you think of not only Docs, but do you think that Docs has valid points on the way he views not only Archie, but the but but the people that surround Archie, which is like me and you. You got the uh, nine-year-old hobosexual going up against Marcelo time. And he 192. Marcelo made zero yesterday. Zero. Oh, wah, wah, the last wah. seven days, he's still riding high on the... Uh, Oh, what do you call it? The Thailand. See, this is like what he's given us is he's given us like like these are stats, like baseball yeah, player yeah, stats. Financial reports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's the nine year old homosexual? Is that that, that would be Archie. That would be okay. Archie. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I me mean, quite obsessive, right? I mean, he's digging into the numbers. He's trying to make a competition. Trip. Uh, uh well neck and neck there, seventy uh 70 neck and neck, neck like a neck horse race. Kind of, yeah, he's even. kind of making it like a like, and yeah. the last like a, thirty like days a race report. Uh, there's nine thousand four hundred and seventy-two for the nine year old uh, who's hobo winning this sexual. week. And Marcelo exactly, time, Mikey. Three thousand seven hundred and seventy five. But that's what Doc so does. He did in know? thirty days, I mean he's making a couple thousand dollars. Good for him. He's got a total of sixty nine six thousand nine hundred and fourteen. Do you think that you think and Doc's report is actually happy for Marcelo? Look at the total. Do you think he? Do you think he knows what it is to be happy? Goes on uh, the nine-year-old. My goodness. You know, I, I think Doc is uh, happy in his in his space. Um, I think. I think. But what I'm saying, Mikey, is he calls us cults. Don't you think that he he's he's more of an obsessed cult member than any of us are? I mean, his I, whole I his he cannot he cannot do anything. He cannot even express the his, his like his uh, daily vlog. He wants to do a daily fitness vlog that didn't work. He tried to do a daily spiritual vlog that didn't yeah. work. He's Nothing works unless it's attached to Archie. Information, other people's content. Yeah, no, it does. It, see, he tries to he tries to say he's independent, and because he doesn't accept super chats, that makes him a better person than me and you and anybody else in the Archieverse because he covers. He covers what happens in the news. I think and to I think, him, I think he thinks that because he's not accepting money, that that frees him up to say more or less or whatever he wants. Um, but honestly, I think I, I think I, it's I, even I worse. Sh- I think it's I even worse. Shit, whether somebody's making money or not, you know. If they're I mean, don't you think that that he has to be even more obsessed to do all this, all this fucking work that he does, all this obsession he has with Archie? He does it for free. I think it says even worse about him that he's obsessed yeah. even more than we are. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Two hundred five hundred ninety-two thousand six hundred nineteen dollar dollar money. There can be, but it's all gone. It's all gone. Archie's homeless. Didn't you know? Archie has no possessions. He's homeless. It's all gone. Archie's finished. Archie's been finished for, I don't know, since the day that Doc Support started his channel. Let's go back to the money shot. I'm the a money slow shot. today. I'm, you know, I'm under the weather. Oh, he's under the weather. Oh, I hope he's okay. Well, he 70 years sure old. That's how Archie looks at it. Mm. But uh, he, he, 
He oh. stole the show is what he did. He stole the show. He did. He did. There's, great. there's <laughs> Here's AD never calling. Marcelo stole the money, the leads, and the narcissistic supply. Bear Cartoony will take him down soon. <laughs> he entertained the guys. Archie's not going to do that. He only makes himself available so you can reward him, so you can celebrate him. That's because he's a celebrity. He's talking about Archie there? Yeah, that was Patrick's uh, well, comment. Yeah, that was AD oh, yeah, never he, calling. Look, you remember AD yeah, never calling the guy you told him to go suck your dick? Bugs, yeah, bugs, yeah, bugs, yeah. Bugs. See, you might have been right, Mikey. Look at what he Munch. look at what he puts up. Well, look, he, look, look, look. He only makes himself look and he he and then he doesn't even read. He doesn't even read all this that AD never calling typed up. He doesn't even read it. Available. Marcelo so stole the money. Him, so you can Leads in narcissistic it. supply. Bear Cartoony will take him down soon. They're playing nice because they expect to uh, fizzle well, out. Yeah, they're across the street. They have screen well, in pools. Yes, they do. And I some think are quite what elaborate. happened uh, with 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 Marcelo uh, was a, a natural uh, like evolution of of the uh, the a internet force of and, nature. And, well, if if Archie, if somebody's if if somebody's filling a, a hole and then they 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 leave the hole open, somebody's going to jump in and fill that hole, and that's what Marcelo did in terms of Archie and, and, ah. and bangers, you know, like, cause there were, for a few days there, you know, Archie was not going on or he's cutting a stream short because uh, nobody was joining him for his uh, get togethers. And uh, people weren't playing like along with Archie. And, and so he, I think he got a little frustrated and, and so he just backed off and, and, and then Marcelo so he just, pounced. he just, he just decided to stay in his room and eat double cheeseburgers. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, his, his, I think if I remember correctly, he said like, you know, why would I jump on Marcelo's stream? Oh, wait, 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 Mike, Mike, Mike. We got that. We got that clip, Mike. I, hey, look, isn't it great? I'm going to have clips and it has nothing to do with you. Well, <laughs> we got it. We great. got it. We got it, Mikey. We got it. You're well, jumping ahead of the game. Hang on. Bugs, bugs, bugs. Well, uh, you, you know, I I got bit by some uh, fire ants on my left foot, but you can't scratch it. Or you're gonna see get how it. he always tries to involve little bits and pieces of his own life always yeah. while he's he's covering Archie content. I I mean I'm guilty of the same. Marcelo thing. kicked Archie's ass. Poor Archie can't even take a small vacation before this. Ooh, the look at AD out. never calling. And a half. Okay. Uh, all right. Boy, AD sure filled with a bit of hate, so, isn't he? I, told you I don't call it hate. Well, I don't call that hate. D dislike or I call it constructive criticism. I mean, hey, look, I mean, uh, Archie did him kind of dirty, Mikey. I mean, AD never did calling he? was okay. his number one, number uh, one supporter. You know? Oh, okay, that's right. He uh, paid. He paid for being disgruntled. You you can't get mad at him. Look, yeah. you can't get mad at anybody for expressing no, their I, opinion. I, All I you could do. AD, it's been so long, and my short-term memory's fried, so I forgot who uh, AD was, um, and so I retract what I just said. Um, yeah, AD definitely earned he he earned his 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 place, and uh, definitely did. I don't know what happened. Did he get? Did he get? Uh, they have a falling out, and uh, he jumped ship over to Tim. Well, I mean, hey, or... hey, look, you know when you got so many people. So many people with so many of these narratives that uh, that Archie is a grifter, that Archie is a prostitute, including Archie himself has the same narrative. I mean, you know, sometimes people self-reflect, Mikey, and they say to themselves, you know, self, what the fuck am I doing? Why am I why am I promoting and enabling this narcissism, this narcissist supply? But see, you know, in in in, in the end, in the end, you always come back to where all the drama starts, right? I mean. Why go, why go and get people's, see, I have to say that Doc's reports, uh, Doc's reports interpretation of the drama that goes on in the Archieverse is his own. He actually, if you really look at it, it's, he's all, all he's pointing out, he's not pointing out anything we don't already know about Archie. What he's pointing out is his own deficiencies in life. He doesn't want to admit that the only way that this guy, people go to his, you know, Arch, basically Archie's audience go to his channel and listen to his ramblings 
uh, to make himself relevant. They're not there because they, they want to know how to work out or how to reach 70 years old and be spiritually centered. They want to hear Doc's report's disgruntled view of the Archieverse. Uh, yeah, pretty much. You got to take uh, that call, Mike? I, I do, man. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No problem. About my golf cart. You know, everybody's got to have, you know, if these people provide a space, a safe space for disgruntled people to go and com commiserate on how they're disgruntled, why they're disgruntled, you know, it's always a momentary self-reflection that attracts people, you know, to the bug zapper because that's what he is. He's a bug zapper. I mean, Lux, Lux report, Lux, Doc's report is a bug zapper. That's all. And he attracts the disgruntled flies in the Archieverse or the ones that want to hear a different perspective. That's nothing that we don't already know. If you accept it, you accept it. If you don't, you don't. But you know what? The grind machine doesn't keep moving forward unless Archie gets his coins. He wants his coins like any other prostitute ever. I mean, prostitutes don't give free blowjobs, guys. Let's see... Well, I don't know if I should talk about this, the uh, unless you want me to. Oh, uh, I don't know if I should talk about it. I'll, I'd rather talk about Trump, sit-up boards, push-ups. Unless you want me to, guys. That's what you call a tease, boys. That's what you call a tease. The thing between crappy and squirrely. Well, actually, it's uh -oh. squirrely and crappy. Crappy uh, and squirrely. I don't know if you really want me to talk about what's that. What's going on between me and... There's another obsessed fan. What's what's going on between me and me and crappy now? What happened? Well, he did it on his own. Uh oh. <laughs> AD never. Oh, he's going to read. He's finally going to start reading AD never calling's comments. Thank you. For calling. Docs, you made important contributions to the world. Well, if I help one person, <laughs> that's great. I credit you for helping Craig uh, Seltzer. Who, who is that one victim? Who is that one victim going to be that Doc's report helps? Who is Doc's report helping? <laughs> I love you, Patrick push the water, lose weight, and get spiritually centered. We all have that ability. There you go. It's within you. Mentor. He wants to you. be a mentor. He wants to be the Archieverse mentor. He wants to mentor the lost and decrepit souls in the Archieverse. Bring me your obese. Bring me your fucking mentally ill. Bring me your sub substance abusers, and I will spiritually center them and bring them out of the dark hole of the Archieverse. He's the savior of the Archieverse. It's not in Bangkok. It's within you. It's within you. Yes. Yes. You know, the charming thing about Doc Support, he, he has absolutely, absolutely no clue that the people in the fucking chat are trolling him more than anybody who honestly does it out in the open. Well, let's go to Twitter. Oh, we're let's going to Twitter, there, boys. Yeah. Let me put a marker. Marker. And mark. One hour and 22 Go minutes. Hey, I'm the Doc's Report. Oh, we're splitting the cameras. The greatest okay, view. In a, what's the fuck? Diabolical. Buck? I'm going to play you something about. This is diabolical. Did you hear this? I'm going to play you something that, that was already played on somebody else's channel. The CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency. What the this fuck? not good. Oh, no. He's going back into politics. Okay. Something similar. We're going to skip that. With MIT. You see how he's trying to confuse people? So it comes back a little bit to what kind of country do you want to be? Um, you All right. He's going back. He's dipping into politics. Let's, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We don't want to do politics. We're not here for politics. Oh, wait a minute. What do we have here? We have another enabler. We have another enabler, and this is our friend, Uzi, but he chooses to call himself Alibaba69, 20 bucks, super sticker, and what is the super sticker? It is a pair with his arms up in the air going, go, go, go. What's up, Uzi Mod? How are you, Uzi Mod? It was good to see you on the panel, man. I, I caught, finally caught that appearance you made with the... Uh, with the prosthetic uh, mask. I mean, actually, very, very... You actually even fooled Narc, which was fucking hilarious. Narc thought you were a burn victim. That was pretty cool first appearance, my man. 
We have eight. Here's a new enabler. Alibaba69. 20 bucks. Thank you, Alibaba69. Appreciate it. Let's continue. Let's continue with the diabolical number one Archieverse fan. Let's listen to our governor. My governor. Oh, my God. He's back into the fucking politics. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, you know there's going to be Archieverse content. There it is. This is interesting. Yeah, go take a listen. To now, look at the way he frames this, boys and girls. Businessman Jamie Opulence and Roland detail cult rebellion. Ooh. Ooh. Imagine, imagine how obsessed you have to be to actually give titles, put together these clips, write a transcript, post it on a completely different platform to make yourself relevant. Isn't that amazing? Who really is the narcissist? You know, I hate I hate to say this to poor Doc's report, but there is no person that exhibits cult behavior more than Doc's report. Doc's report tries to be an independent cult member. Doc's report is getting his own narcissistic supply from Archie, from a true celebrity. Doc's report wishes he was Archie. Doc's report lives vicariously through Archie. He just doesn't want to self-admit it because it would devastate his persona of everyday spiritually centered, mentally fit, physically fit, everyday millionaire. To it. Uh, and, but see, what, what Jamie does, I'll have to talk about Jamie here in a minute. Oh, poor Jamie. And there they are. Oh! There they are. Uh... Let's see. Businessman Jamie Ivins and Roland explain why cult rebellion. All right. Now, Jamie's talking about, he see, Jamie doesn't understand the NPD. No, no. Jamie doesn't understand the NPD. No, no. Jamie, who travels the world, okay, lives in Spain, has a beautiful wife and child, okay? A high-stress, self-employed millionaire, Okay. Jamie needs Doc's report to straighten out his life. You got it? It's not that Jamie has the ability to cut loose, go have fun, go into the real world with the real people, the real punters in the Archieverse like Roland, another very successful young man, okay, and party a little bit. You see, the problem is, is Doc's report has lived an isolated, introvert life, okay? Him trying to understand why people would have fun cutting loose, you know, when they have a high-stress, self-employed lifestyle, he doesn't get it. Why doesn't he get it? Well, how can he ever get it? Do you think that, do you think that Doc's report has ever, ever, ever been socially functional? He's never been socially functional. He has no idea what it's like to go out with friends and have a fucking beer. And just because the nucleus of it was Archie. A lot of people don't. He doesn't Maybe care. that explains how you end up being physically fit, independently wealthy, living on a golf course by yourself, and you're obsessed with every little obscure thing that happens in your life, like the way your cleaning lady cleans your house, but she was late because she has a flat tire and she's a single mom, and you talk about her like she is the fucking bane of your existence. Care what you did last week. Or the month before, or how many trips you went on, Jamie. He, what his job in his mind is, he gives you an emotional lap dance. Emotional lap him. dance. Every time you got to pay him. Uh, in fact, I even. He's a celebrity. He's a lap dancer. He's a stripper. Yeah, that's his job. He wants to get paid. Say it right here. It says, Jamie, what you, uh, what do you have to do? To do you him? actually? Th this guy actually thinks that Jamie went to Thailand to be Archie's friend to hang around with Archie. He went there to hang around with the boys, with the Marcelo, the machine, the party machine, Roland, the head bobbling machine, Dodger, the well seasoned veteran of in of the Archieverse. Okay, this guy just doesn't get it. Loyalty, it's really very simple. Open your wallet and keep it open and available to the nine-year-old. So now, according to Jamie, he had a wonderful talk with, with the Archie. Oh, it was great. I had a great conversation with him. He's stroking you. He wants to get paid. And I can prove it because he talks about it later. 
and and you say, well, how do I? You got to think of the, this guy as a, uh, a a prostitute. You got to think of him as an escort, a high maintenance escort. That's Archie. That's Archie. I mean, was was Jamie there at a party with Archie? No. A pail, a bucket, a bucket. Okay, Archie's currency, a bucket. Let's say water, but there's holes in his bucket. So the only time he feels good about himself is when the water is flowing in. No, 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 no. The only time Archie feels good about himself is after he eats a sloppy double cheeseburger, a half a gallon of ice cream, and he's got Lux Reports cum rag in his hand, and he's smelling it. <laughs> That's what he likes. You, you, and Mikey, are you see? Uh, do you hear? Do you hear the way that this, this guy's trying to reframe the whole Thailand trip? Uh, I, I, can't I just in the jumped back. I just jumped back on, so I yeah, yeah. Didn't, I didn't hear anything. But the, but do you you see you see do you see the when a person when he actually when Doc's report is actually an obsessed, exiled, isolated cult member? Do you see how he tries to frame Jamie's experience? Okay, he can't hold it. Next time he's he's on empty again. He's insatiable. So he gave you an emotional lap dance. Uh, and stroked you, and you didn't pay him. Now that real that got him that got him upset. That that was a big start there, because yeah, sure he's there for Lux's wedding, but he also wants to collect coin. Mike, he's, talk, he, he's talking about Archie, right? Yeah, he's talking about Archie. He's well, there. Archie, he's there to collect if, coin. If Archie wanted to collect coin, he needed to uh, put out more uh, more material. You know, he needed to... Mikey, Mikey, Archie collected plenty of coin. He and, Archie did very well. Yeah, well, I'm just, I'm saying in, in response to this guy's comment. Um, yeah. You know, if, if he wanted even more, if if what he says is true, um, you know, Archie um, only needed to just put out more content because he did kind of uh, curl up, it seemingly curled up a little bit and back, like, backed away Um you know, because he, he did, because Marcelo had stepped in with, uh, you know, entertaining, um, and and I don't know if Marcelo was was rebel streaming, uh, during Archie's time. Well, slot no, not. no. See, see, um, Mikey, this is the way that people like this guy frame it. But the truth was, and I and I and I showed this. The truth was that Archie on his platforms between the dungeon and the main show had twice the amount of hours of streaming the Thailand content than Marcelo did. The only thing that Marcelo di did is what, you know, he gave us the part of the trip that Archie couldn't. Marcelo's part of the trip came in when he was out partying with Jamie and, and he was out partying with Roland and he was out partying with Dodger and he was out partying with Mental Jack. That was completely, see, the way I got to see it, that was different content. That was different Gonzo streaming, okay? So there's no reason that you can't have Archie's part of the of the Gonzo streaming, Archie and Lux, okay, which this trip was centered around. And Archie is the celebrity of the trip that made this all happen. I mean, it wouldn't happen without Archie. Well, so you had that part of the trip, and then you had the boys partying, because you know Archie's not going to go out and party with these guys for 10, 12 hours. That's just not Archie. He's the celebrity. Right? Okay. Let's continue. Now, this is probably the best uh, audio that I have. And nobody really... Because when I say this is Archie Luxury, this is the NPD in full force. And I'm okay, you see that he's you see how he's framing it? This is the mentally ill and the people who enable uh, enable a mentally ill person. This is the NPD. Okay, I say this. Just substitute NPD for th for the celebrity. Archie Archie is honestly telling you that he feels that when he does these appearances, he's doing part of his show and he wants to get paid. Yeah, he I made some shit, notes on it and I'm, and I'm Go ahead, Mikey. Shit. You don't do shit for free. Exactly. You said that, exactly, you said that a million Mikey. Times. You said that a million times. Now, Mikey, listen, listen to how Doc's report is going to interpret this exchange that he has. See, but he's not playing it. What he's going to do is he's 
somehow or another, this guy is so obsessed, he took the time to do a transcript of what Archie, JJ, and Lux report the conversation that they had. He reads a transcript, but he reads it through his eyes, the way he interprets it, okay? Mm -hmm. okay. I'm gonna, let's go to the notes. Notes. He, this guy literally takes notes. He, he detests Archie. He detests Archie, but he's so obsessed he takes notes and he writes a transcript. Check it out. God. Hang on. I can't just do the chat because then I'll never get this done. I got to cover some ground and then I'll catch up in the chats. I know how that feels. And I was going to show you the notes, but I don't want to show you the notes. I got to look at them, though. He doesn't want to show us the notes, Mikey. NPD notes. NPD notes. Not Archieverse notes. Not the cult of the living dead. NPD. Now, to me, yeah. I think all he's doing is describing himself. This content that he's going to read to, I don't know, he had like maybe 22 people in the audience. 99% of them are from the Archieverse, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is his narcissistic supply. See, he's Archie to me is a celebrity. Doc support is the true narcissist projecting his own narcissism, not on not only onto Archie, but to, to the people that surround Archie. Okay. Here we go. And I, I should make that full screen. Because this is a important one. This is important, well, not Mike. Not. Yeah, okay. Again, After this, this I got I, I, I actually have to trip. go this pretty is quick. Archie luxury. Yeah, yeah. In this clip, he says the following. Fuck the phone. Right, here are my NPD notes. I organized a night out with the boys, Nana and Sawyer Cowboy, and they send me Marcella with limited funds. What am I supposed to do? Now, this is the, now he's pissed. Okay, look. now, what he's doing right now is he's reading the transcript of this video clip that's actually private, okay? So what I'm going to do is before he gives his take on it, I'm going to show you the clip, okay? Now, why it's made private, I don't know. I, I guess it's got to do with maybe because he had a falling out with Narc on here and he didn't want it viewed, but let me show you. Let me show you guys the actual real clip, okay? Hey, now, uh, he uh, uh, um, Curly, I, I've, I've got to go. Okay. Um, I've got fucking, I've got family shit going on. So Mike, Mike, take see. it easy, Mike. Take it easy. Take care of what you got to take care of, Mike. We'll be okay. Yeah, you have a good one. Come I'll on back you if later. you want. I'll see you, All Mikey. Right. All right, bye bye. All right. So, what he doesn't, what what Doc's report? I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. Doc's report reads a transcript of this stream verbatim, but this was the start of this stream. Okay. Doc's report doesn't say anything about the beginning of this stream, but this was uh, Archie. Having a full-blown meltdown because uh, he had, you know, you know, a big player. I have to say he's a big player. Narc calling for an all-out of super chatting and sending Archie any kind of money. I mean, you know, kind of lame, kind of a lame thing to do. I mean, but, uh, it, you know, it is what it is. I mean, you know, Narc was riding the fucking high horse of all the drama that was happening. I mean... Patel Philippe literally worked almost in two days, 18 hours straight to bring us all the gonzo streaming. I mean, the drama was fucking at a high, a high, high, high level viewership. You know, Archie was getting 200 plus views on his main show. I mean, everything was, I think Gangster Gary, Gangster Gary gave us the best analogy. And it's like, Narc came in to save a show that didn't need to be saved. And I agree with that. You know, it's not that hard to jump on the stream and, and add fucking drama to peak drama that's already happening to add, you know, uh, you know, to add, a, a, you know, to, to, to basically take and fucking ride the high peak of shows that's happening, throw a, a monkey wrench into the works and start, a, you know, more drama. It's not that hard to do when everything's fucking uh, clicking on all cylinders. What's hard to do is when you got 40 fucking people and then you got to fucking put on a show, you know, and, and fucking entertain people without having to alienate everybody, without having to undermine the actual platform that we all enjoy. I mean, it's not an easy thing to do, but it's not an impossible thing to do either.
I mean, uh, you know, if you cut off, I mean, Archie's basically to the point, I mean, I think everybody could feel it. I mean, Archie doesn't have to put on uh, this shit. Ar Archie's the, Archie is the fucking celebrity. And, and in the end, it is his platform. And he's only going to take a certain amount of abuse. Now, it's nice getting the Viper eyes. It is nice getting the Viper eyes. We love it. We love that kind of drama. But you can't do it if you're going to fucking damage the platform that this guy provides. You know, everybody has their own opinion. You don't have to fucking super chat, Archie. You don't have to fucking PayPal them. But I think it's quite, I think it's quite dubious that you use his platform to self-promote yourself without contributing anything but fucking undermine bullshit, okay? So here's the beginning of the transcript that you're going to hear Doc's report interpret through his own MPD eyes, okay? I don't want to be micromanaged. I don't want to be, Roland, I don't want to be micromanaged by your fucking girlfriend, okay? Okay? You ask the question. Now, in a way, it's funny to bring Archie to this point, but in another way, this is when Archie is at his worst because what does he do? He lashes out at everybody and everything, and he has no filter. Hey, knock, knock. This is when he does damage to people. Hey, knock. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well, well done, well done, well done. I tell you something, Nak. Well done on 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 mental job. Now this is basically this is basically a hyena trying to protect his food from a bunch of vultures. That's what this is. Just picture Archie as a fucking hippo trying to protect his cabbage from all the vultures that want to pick away at his cabbage. I, I might deserve it. I might deserve it, right? But you Yeah, he does. He does deserve to be fucking. He does he does deserve the trolling that he gets. He does deserve the pushback that he gets. He does. You, 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 what what a great job you did. He this guy went did, did five tours, right? And knock, knock, knock. Well, thank you. Well, just keep over talking. Just keep over talking, everyone. That makes you right. Makes everyone right. Knock, 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 knock. You should worry about your behavior. Yeah, right. Naki, Naki, Naki. You keep talking over everyone, and and you'll win. Nak, 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 Nak. You know what? You should be banned. You should be banned. You know that. You know what? I, and great job on mental jock, by the way. You should be proud of yourself. You should be proud of yourself. Now, if you guys don't know what's going on, he's being rebel streamed right now. Okay, Archie's being rebel streamed right now. We're not seeing that part of the stream, but he is. He's on two channels at once, okay? And he's literally got a guy who's using his platform who made himself, you know, I don't know, what do we want to say? Who built his YouTube persona as the narc on Archie's platform. Now he's turning around and, you know, unfortunately, unfortunately, you know, you could take things, you could take things too far to the point where, you know, Archie's going to retaliate. And unfortunately, what he ends up doing is he ends up retaliating on everybody and lashing out at everybody. Sometimes if the people on the other end, the receiving end of Archie's fucking uh, explodes, don't have a thick enough skin, you could do irreversible damage. So you should be proud of yourself, Nark. You, you should be really proud of yourself, Naki Poo. What a great hero you are. What did you ever do for your country? What did you ever do for your country, you lousy piece of shit? I don't know what that I'm means. deflecting. I'm just telling you the <laughs> truth. I'm telling you the truth. You just you can't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth. You, you can't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth. He shook. You can't handle the he truth. shook. The you hippo shook, baby. You can't handle the truth. This is yeah? a raging. This is a raging hippo. Look, the hippo got up. He's raging, baby. You can't handle anything. Yeah, you just keep talking over me and you win. You just keep talking over me and you win. You just keep talking over me and that makes you right. You just keep talking over me and you win the argument. Yeah, that's a great way, Nark. You're a fucking sh Now, guys, remember, when I'm going to I'm going to keep going with this. Now, remember, this is the state of mind that Archie is put in, okay? While he's trying to battle this narrative of nobody super chat this fat fuck, nobody give him money, he's disgusting, he's this, he's that. Same guy he's always been. Yeah, there's no interventions. This is the same guy as always, right? So remember, this This is why he was in the mood that he was in when Doc's report 
starts to give his interpretation of what Archie's going. Same stream, same stream, but you got to kind of, you got to put everything into context. Why was Archie saying these things? Why was he in the mood that he was in? Well, he's got one of, you know, one of the, you know, I, I'd have to say, you know, Narc has a lot of fans. One of, one of uh, Archie's, Archie's, uh, you know, panelist, you know, uh, A-grade panelist, turning on him. And not doing it in a funny way, but actually doing it in a real way. Yeah, he was triggered. Exactly, M2 Carlino. So Archie was in a triggered state of mind when the other half, when the other half of this stream comes out. Cheat, you're a liar, you're a piece of shit. That's what you are, Narc. And I'm happy to stand up for you. Glass jaw, glass jaw. And no one's, you know, I stand up to you. You're a piece of shit, Narc. You're an absolute useless piece of shit. That's what you are, Narc. Great job. Great job. You know, you're deflecting. You're deflecting. We're talking about me. We're not talking about other people. We're deflecting. You're deflecting. You're deflecting. Why are you deflecting? Let's talk about you and, and mental jock pushing him to the limit. Let's have a see you're deflecting. You, you're an expert at deflecting. You're a fucking piece of shit. You're the lowest piece of shit I ever met in my life. I tell you this now. You know what? Well, you don't, hey, don't ever fucking interfere with a hippo's cabbage, man. When a hippo is fucking gnawing on that cabbage, don't try to take a piece of his cabbage. Well done, Nark. Well done. Well done, Nark. Well done. I'm going to hold you accountable. You can talk over me, you absolute piece of shit. Yeah. Ooh, he's going to hold him accountable. Fucking. You. The show is on now. I'm, okay. Fuck you. You know, who are you? Anyhow, Nark, you're nothing to me. You are dead to me, Nark. You're dead like your fish and chip shop that you that you closed down at. And as for you, right, you people want to listen to the truth? I will answer your question, right? I said, the question was, why am I... You know what? Yeah, great job on Nark. Great, great job on mental job, Nark. Well done. Hey... Now he's he's he, uh, you know Narc's on Mar I believe it was Marcelo's channel, so we're not getting that part of it because Marcelo also made that private. This stream is made private, so I'm I'm you know like I said, so much happens. You know now we're all we're we're in the phase of the kumbaya watch talk. Let's try to ignore Archie's strange uh, behavior, but there was a reason that he was in this state of mind. I mean, there was a reason. You know, here's a hippo chewing on his little piece of cabbage and his little piece of real estate and you got all the hyenas you got everybody else you got the gators the crocodiles everybody's trying to get to archie's cabbage well done now remember this is a guy who's endured at least a dozen people starting channels okay and he ends up being content on their channels and they end up getting monetized okay and there are some people who could pull it off with class and grace and still have a great relationship with Archie. And then there's others, not so much. Well done. Be proud. Be proud. Be proud of what you did. Yeah, go, go and be proud. You know that? Don't you go be proud, hey? You get to be proud, hey? You fucking lying turd. See, we're not getting the other end of it. Sorry, guys, but I only got this. I, I only have a certain amount of time. Here he is. He's listening. He's listening. Hey, hey Nark, he's asking me the question. He's not asking you. You don't even show your face, you lousy piece of shit. Why don't you show your face? You don't even turn up at any events. You don't even show your face. You don't even show your face, no. You don't even show your face anywhere. You don't even show the face. Why don't you show your face, you piece of shit? I, I hope you're proud of what you did for Mental Jock. <laughs> I hope I hope. I hope you're proud. I'm going to change to the other channel. I'm going to change to the other channel now, guys, because that's the that's the schedule. I'm happy that ah uh, you you fuck off, Nark. Nark, Nark, Nark. You know what, Nark? You know what? You're dead to me. What you did to Mental Jock is a disgrace. You, you know what? You are an a piece of shit, Nark. Nark, Nark. You don't control the audience here. You are absolutely dead to me. You know this. That's true. That's true. That's true. You were dead. I don't ever want to have you back on again. And I'm telling you honestly. I don't know what I don't know. I don't know what it takes for for people to realize that is true. In the end, in the end, in the end, everybody has to make a decision. Do you enjoy the entertainment 
that Archie brings. You know, yes, there are lulls of fucking boredom and mundane fucking nonsense dribble talk. But is it worth those times that you got to go through that for the explosions and the drama that surrounds Archie, okay? And, you know, some people, like I said, they start their own channels. But the drama, they, they always take the, the Archie verse drama to their channels. They make themselves relevant, including myself. I mean, what the fuck would I have to talk about if it wasn't for the drama that surrounds Archie? It sure wouldn't be about myself because I'm boring, 60, I'm boring, almost 60 year old man. And I know one thing I don't even want to hear myself talk about myself. So why would I? But you cannot beat this soap opera, boys and girls. I am going to ban you now because I don't ever want to see you, I don't want to hear from you. You are absolutely, be proud of what- You know, and unfortunately, unfortunately, Narc is doing exactly what Archie wants him to do. He's not coming back and he's not fucking participating in the drama because he literally, I mean, literally thought that he was going to take Archie down by using Marcelo. That's, that's, that's the smartest guy in the room syndrome getting the better of Narc. Too bad. What you did, hey? You go. Yeah, yeah. I have. Right. The main show's running. So now main here the main show is. Okay, main show. In the sun. All right. That's so now you guys know what state of mind Archie was on when he did the main show. Now let's get to where he starts. There we go. Everything's going to be better. Why? Because Luxy Boy shows up. <laughs> you know Luxy Boy. He put... Lux jumps on and has no idea what the fuck has just transpired. He's the guy who, you know, you got the you got the guys out in the road digging the hole, and Lux is the guy who sits in the truck and just takes a nap at all times. And then he wakes up and he doesn't know what's going on. Was the hole dug? Is the fucking water pipe fixed? I don't know, guys. What do I know? I don't know. He's the nepotism job. He's the fucking, you know. He's, he's literally, literally, he knows less than what's going on. Mike the Snake knows more what's going on than Luxy Pooh does. Roland or his girlfriend. Not fucking interested. Now, you see, he's got the Viper Eyes. Now, this is the main show, Viper Eyes. Okay. Then he's he's taking offense. I, now, all the positive things I said, I said Dodger is fine. Yeah, Dodgers are great. I had a lot of fun with Dodger. Because Dodger knows. Dodger's been around. He's seen it all. He knows. He knows. He knows. Uh, no reason for me to go. There we go. Hey, Lux, how are you? Hey, Archie. I just woke up. Dirk Diggler. I don't take it personally that Arch isn't delivering. What exactly do you want delivered? Dirk, Dirky, super chat, and he'll deliver whatever you want. I look at Archie like my video streaming services. If they are boring or don't follow through, I quit the subscription. Oh, Dirky, 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 come on. You lurk on everybody's streams, Dirky, Dirk. Dirky, are we not all trapped in the circular drama of the Archieverse, whether it happens here, Doc's Report, Tim Wright's channel, I mean, name all uh, uh, Marcellos. You're on all of them, Dirky Dirk. But I mean, if Archie goes away, what what are these channels going to talk about? You're going to have fucking a Frank Sinatra wedding singer? What do you want to listen to? You want to listen to fucking sit up and push up reports, push in the water reports? You want to hear more fucking uh, you know slagging fucking forpy? You want to hear more whiskey dick? Come on, Dirk. Dirk. The nucleus of all the drama is right here on Archie Luxury LLC. Hey, that's okay, man. No problems at all. I, I slept in a bit there. I um, I was getting a bit. See, now here's Archie's human support prostitute, human support ex lady boy, you know, human support uh, person. Here he is, Luxy. Now Archie's trying to calm down. He's trying to get off of the Archie Viper eyes. But, you know, since Luxie, poor Luxie doesn't know what's going on, he sparks it all up again with him. It attacked. You know that private message I sent you? Which one? Uh, 
You actually think that a message is going to stay private when you send it to old Luxie Poo? Oh, come on. The one yesterday when you said, do you want to come to lunch with the boys? The boys. And I said, yeah. I'm moving hotels. Does it bring in any money? Not really. I only care about the money. Jamie isn't loyal. Marcelo is a, is a, is a, is a, is a cunt. Roland is difficult. Dodger is fine. No reason for me to go. Yeah. They got a bit offended. They got sand in their vagina. They got sand in their vagina. Now, now, come on, guys. Come on. Is this not... What else do you expect from a fucking... The number one fucking troll. The guy that gets kicked out of every form. What else do you expect? The guy that... Has he ever burnt bridges to the point that where people don't return? He doesn't leave the door open? I mean, he explodes... He explodes. Yes, that's what we love. We love that drama. We love the Archie explodes. We love Archie the glutton. We love Archie the ungrateful, right? I mean, what happens if this guy goes away? That's, I think, I think that that's exactly what JJ's little, hang on a second. What's up, Digger? What's going on, everybody? We're doing drama, Digger. We're doing drama. I don't know if you're going to like it. <laughs> But you're yeah, more than welcome really to stick that. around, brother. You're more than welcome to stick around. Bring it the fuck on, man. There you go. So remember, I mean, the simple statement that JJ made holds true. If he goes away, if the people that actually want Archie to go away, what does everybody else get out of it then? What are you going to get out of it? Where are you going to go? What do you want to do? You want to hear fucking pet stories? You want to take a walk at the zoo, pet shops, you know, Monkey sanctuaries? Is that the entertainment you want? You want lounges? You want fucking, you know, boys day at the bar? Ha! You want drunk talk? But I'm just telling you, I don't think he's loyal to me. Uh, Marcelo is a cunt. Pretty obvious why I would say that. Roland is difficult. And Roland's taken huge offense. We went for a stunt to the airport to pick Marcelo up and his girlfriend is micromanaging us. I don't want to be fucking micromanaged by Roland or his girlfriend. Not fucking interested. Okay? Then he's he's taken offense. I, now, all the positive things I said, I said Dodger is fine. Yeah, Dodgers are great. I had a lot of fun with Dodger. Uh, no reason for me to go. There we go. Hey, Lux, how are you? I <laughs> see. I mean, who else can make a fucking transition like that? Hey, how are you? Hey, Archie, I just woke up. Hey, that's okay. There's, here comes the high energy, boys. Here comes the high energy. Now, remember, this is the main show that's happening right now. We got all the turmoil happening. We got fucking, Mar we got Lemonhead Marcello. We got all the boys fucking smoking balloons, drinking. Fucking, you know, tuk tuk rides being dragged by tuk tuks. We got all this drama, and now this is the big wrap up that we get. Yeah, I just woke up. Man, no problems at all. I, I slept in a bit there. I um, I was getting a bit attacked. You know that private message I sent you. You notice how he said keeps he keeps he keeps saying private. Which one? Which one? What? Huh? Huh? I don't know. Uh, what. Stay in the truck. Huh? The one huh? yesterday when you said, do you want to come to lunch with the boys? The boys. And I said, yeah. I'm moving hotels. Does it bring in any money? Not really. I only care about the money. Jamie isn't loyal. Marcelo is a, is a, is a, is a, is a cunt. Roland is difficult. Dodger is fine. No reason for me to go. Now, this is, to me, this is no different. Now, just picture this. Archie is Van Halen. Luxie Pooh is Van Halen's manager. Van Halen wants to walk into a green room, and they want a big jar of M&Ms, but they don't want any yellow M&Ms, and they don't want any green M&Ms. So they go in there. The high-maintenance talent walks into the dressing room, sees the yellow and green M&Ms, and has a hissy fit. And now you got to have, you got to turn to who? You turn to your manager. You turn to your handler. 
I mean, remember, remember, we all thought that, you know, and Luxie Poo actually promised us all that he was going to be the greatest handler in the world. He was going to have Archie Gonzo streaming everywhere. He was going to do this. He was going to do that. Okay? This all centers around Luxie. Do you think this centered around Luxie Poo's wedding? Or did this center around Archie going to Luxie Poo's wedding? Well, I mean, Archie is the Archieverse. Yeah. They got a bit offended. They got sand in their vagina. They got sand in their vagina. What, what, what's, have... what's, 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 with, what's with the bitch fest? What's with, what's with the, the whining and complaining and... What, what, what's that? What, what's, what's the problem? They're, they're the ones. They're the ones who who, who were so oh, offended you. by it. Now, now remember, this is quite strange because Luxy Poo is, you know, is he putting all the blame on Archie? I mean, Luxy Poo is supposed to be the handler. He's supposed to be the right hand man. Archie's his best man. I mean, do you blame it all on the talent, or do you not accept any blame at all because you just woke up? I've just been watching the last the ones, five minutes just complaining. They're the and ones who are so offended. They were so offended. Roland says, Why how could you say that? And I said, Roland, I went to the airport. The last fucking thing I want is to be micromanaged by you and your fucking girlfriend. Yeah, but Lee, don't worry, forget off. about his girlfriend. What, what's with I the don't want to be micromanaged. I don't want to be micromanaged. And She's that's just the trying her best. She's trying her best on I, I, I don't want to be micromanaged. Okay, I do right. not enjoy being micromanaged. That's why I work for myself. If I want, I don't to like my name, Doc Starchy, but you keep fucking ducks in my be, name every fucking show. Be, you know what I, mean? I don't want to be a drone. If I wanted to be a drone, I'd stay in corporate world. Much easier. Ah, so what is Archie expressing here? Archie is expressing, hey, I'm the talent. I want to be looked after. I don't feel I'm being looked after. Where's my coins? Who's paying me? I don't need to be micromanaged. Do you want to do a bitch fest? Then we, then do we got do, Jamie. He's Jamie do, says, how, how am I? Do you want to complain and bitch about the people that came to Bangkok or do you want to make a good show, Archie? I'm saying to you, they're asking, they're getting all offended, right? I did This This was a confidential message which wasn't supposed to be shared with them. I, he's got a point there. He's got a point. My name that you keep fucking doxing should be confidential that you keep fucking doxing. Now, why, 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 why is, why is Luxie Poo not hearing Archie? All Luxie Poo is, 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 uh, is worried about is his name. He keeps doxing. Well, he's, he's done it about a million times. I said, I said this in private. I said this in private to you. Yeah. Right? And I told you who I was with and they were holding my phone at the time and they see the man. Oh, oh, what? Well. I, it sounds like Archie's got a point. I sent you a private message and somebody was holding your phone and read your messages. Well, how are they reading your messages? Why don't you have a uh, password? How is somebody reading your messages on your phone? So is this Archie's fault? Like I said, you got to put these things into context. Messages as it comes in. Could you go ding, 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 Hang on, hang on. Let's back the truck up. Everything I said, I, I stand by. And but you know I have to say this for thirty bucks a show, what do you expect? For thirty bucks a show, what do you expect? You certainly ain't gonna be no Nico Leonard with thirty bucks, you know, a thirty dollar a day manager, handler, private assistant, whatever you want to call it. Alibaba sixty nine five bucks. Thank you, man, for showing some appreciation. I appreciate that. Curly, you were wrong about Marcelo. He bitched out and ran away after 15 minutes of nobody jumping on. He was a drunk. He was drunk and tired, sir. It was a flop. Well, you see, Alibaba, what I'm trying to say is, okay, you had Narc that came on riding the wave of drama, and he was trying to weaponize who? Marcelo? To do what? Compete against Archie? To take Archie down? Why is it that you have these people who are so obsessed with Archie they just can't tell themselves, you know what? This is the best show in town. So why not just get along and make a good show instead of going on and thinking you're going to weaponize somebody's somebody else's platform to take Archie down because, because what? You have a moment of self-reflecting and you are disgusted with yourself because you can't understand why you're watching Archie? I don't get it. 
We don't watch Archie because we want Archie to pretend to be somebody else. Archie is and always has been who he is. Now, I mean, I'm not here for the watch talk, but Archie does, does a lot of good watch content when Bears around, you know, when the mood presents itself. We weren't looking for, for, uh, for watch content from Jamie and from Dodger and from Roland and from Marcelo. We were looking for the boys going out and cutting loose, and we got all of that in spades on both platforms, okay? But unfortunately, Archie also gets paid for to go to watch boutiques, to go be the man on the street. And if he doesn't have a handler, he doesn't deliver on it. And then people get perturbed because there are some people in this Archieverse, okay, who pay for something other than drama. They do want to see the man on the street. They do want to see where you're at. Bring me your surroundings, okay? Look at JD. Look at The Undertaker. I mean, these people go in Gonzo Stream and they bring us a view of the world that we don't see from where we're at. I mean, here, here's a, here's a, here's a perfect, uh, here's a perfect guy, Nelson Oliveira. Nelson Oliveira, when Archie was in Hong Kong, wanted to see some watch content. If it wasn't for Neo making an appointment at that watch boutique, we would have got no watch content. You know, unfortunately, the talent has to have a handler, and when you have the wrong handler. They have to accept the responsibility for what they promised and then they didn't deliver. Then you can't cry and blame the audience because all of a sudden they stop supporting you because they feel unappreciated and they feel that the fucking contributions that they make don't have a lot of gratitude behind it, okay? You can't just fucking sit back like a fucking big hippo and think that Super Chats are going to keep fucking rolling in because you're going to stand on your legacy. If you make promises because people send money, then deliver on the promises, okay? Don't make the promises, don't accept the money, and people won't be disappointed because there's always drama and there's always watch talk that surrounds Archie, okay? And there's a dozen channels out there that still make content out of Archie, even though sometimes Archie seems to not be able to make content out of himself. He's his own worst enemy sometimes. So I kind of agree with you there, Alibaba69, Curly, you were wrong about Marcelo. He bitched out and ran away after 15 minutes of nobody jumping on. He was drunk and tired, sir. It was a flop. Yeah, but that's what I mean. I mean, uh, how delusional do you have to be that you think that Marcelo is going to bring you entertainment seven days a week, two times a day, okay? Anybody that could fill those shoes, I'd love to see it because I haven't seen one yet. Timmy tries. Timmy tries, believe me, Timmy tries very hard. And he's got a lot, he's got actually a lot more handlers and a lot more support at times than Archie does. But he's failing miserably, and Archie, believe it or not, is not failing. And it's the punters, you know, that keep supporting him, that want this kind of soap opera, that want this kind of uh, drama, and also want to have meetups surrounding Archie. It is what it is. I mean, you know, but the disgruntled people, they always love to congregate with other disgruntled people, and they're delusional that they they think they're going to take the original OG down. Nobody, nobody, nobody has taken more punishment and more trolling, and well-deserved at times, than Archie. And he's still here trying to do something. Even though he looks like a discombobulated mess, I mean, the punters always step up and make a show out of it. I'm talking a week ago. You said he remains on no matter what. Not this morning. He didn't seem to care at all. He ran away drunk and tired. I don't know. I, You know what? Uh, you know what, uh, Uzi? I don't know. I, I didn't watch. I don't, I don't know. I mean, Marcelo is no different than anybody else that tries to run a stream seven days a week, okay? If you don't have panel support, if you don't have interesting topics, if you can't make a show out of it, you know, if you can't pluck, pluck the little, the little uh, pieces of drama and content that, uh, that exist in the Archieverse, then whose fault is that? I mean, you know, I, I know one thing is uh, it's not that hard. It's not that hard to make some shows interesting if you take a little time, you do a little prep work, and you put a little effort into the show. 
Um, I don't think that the audience in the Archieverse is very, very demanding. I actually think that uh, a lot of times they settle for less uh, than they than they than they than they pay for. To be honest. I was scared Narc was trying to see my bulge. I'm self conscious. Ah, you know what, dude? You you uh you actually when you came on with that get up, man, that was fucking that was gold. I didn't even see. I saw it like four or five days after it happened, but that was fucking gold. You are exactly how you handle the fucking narc. You just be authentic and uh, don't fall for the bullshit. I thought it was fucking hilarious that he didn't want to rip into you because he thought you were a burn victim. <laughs> no, no, dude. You are uh, you are unique and authentic, uh, Uzi. Unique and authentic. And that's what the Archieverse is all about, you know? Let's continue. Let's continue. Because like I said, there's a... There's an opposite take of what we see here. What I see here is I see a guy, a talent, a high-maintenance talent, actually expressing how he really feels. Okay, I'm happy to stand by every comment I've made, right? Including your own comment when you said, what do you think about me? And I said, we need each other to survive. Okay? And I said further down i said i want to do as little as possible and earn money so i can find happiness isn't that your modus operandi as well are you not looking for happiness what are you looking for now see here's here's fun here's what's funny about the way out when i look at this clip the actual clip if you put it in context okay the way i interpret this i actually appreciate i mean it may not be classy okay it may not be uh it may not be uh eloquent but i love that this guy is actually expressing the emotions that he really feels now you could take it or leave it this is basically archie fucking telling everybody you know what take it or leave it has he really been any different have we not seen him do this to dozens and dozens of people that actually come back and stay in the archieverse why well, I mean, look, the guy's the genuine article. At least he's telling you exactly how he feels. Love it or hate it, at least he's being fucking open and honest. As 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 fucking obscene as it seems to some people, you know, and as low class as it seems to some people, I actually respect how honest he's being about his position that he feels you know, that he's at in his show in this time in, in, in his life. I'm already happy. happy. Do, you, do you want to do a good show, Archie, or do you want to do a bitch fest? What do you want? Because if you... If you... Now, what's a good show? What's a good show? You, I mean, what he's... You got Lux literally telling Archie, do you want to do a good show? Okay. What are you going to do? What do you bring to do a good show? You're going to fucking show boiled rats? You're going to not pay attention to all the drama that's going on in the Archieverse? You're going to sit there and fucking put up pictures of a fucking, uh, you know, streams of a pet shop? It's all variety show. It's all different. But what exactly do you define as a good show? I, I thought this was a fucking fantastic stream. You had it all. You had drama. You had infighting. You had backstabbing. You had two-faced people. It was fucking fantastic. And now it's wrapped up all into a little package of watch talk and kumbaya. You're in a bitch fest, so I might as well just leave. Well, let's put it this way. Oh, I might as well just leave. Oh, it, talk about now. I mean, talk talk about a guy that can't develop a. You got to develop a thick skin. If you're going to be Archie's assistant, you got to have a thick skin. Look at how long Tim Wright lasted. At least Tim Wright had a thick skin. You know, he took a lot of what whatever you want to call it. Do you call it abuse or do you call it? That's just the way Archie is. That's just the Archie verse. Right. I don't know what what brings in the super chats or gets people happy what do they want to talk about well, i can tell you the bitch or... fest is not exactly bringing I'll, tell you, in I'll, I'll tell you the Archie, bitch, I'll tell, the bitch I'll tell fest you the bitch is only bitch. bought you in about ten dollars so what do you want to do do you want to do a good show or do you want to do a... oh i don't know i mean we saw doc's report third i mean he made 11 grand in 30 days i mean the fucking drama the drama along with the fucking watch talk along with the infighting as long as people don't take it personally and they're able to have a working relationship Except Archie for what he is. It actually, it actually, it actually, he makes a pretty decent living doing it. The bitch fest. Yeah, but you're always soft to everyone who kisses your asshole, right? You're, you're soft to them. They, they, they give you a present and, and you're, 
you couldn't speak night. It just All right. me if you're just going to attack me, I'll see you later. You want me to help? Attack. Attack? That's, this is an attack. You see the words, the SJW words, the snowflakes? You see when, when I mean, look, Archieverse is not made for snowflakes. Help you, you want me to leave? Well, if you don't like it, go, go get another job then. If you don't like it, do something else. What the fuck do I care? If you don't like it, go. Go. I'm not holding you. Touche, motherfucker. That's what I call touche, motherfucker. <laughs> That's a touche, motherfucker. You're fucking hand in, in handcuffs. If you don't like it, go. Leave. What the fuck do I care? You think you're the last? You think you're the fucking first person? I have said if you don't like it, leave. Three wives, 20 girlfriends, and, 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 and you, you think you're special, do you? Hey? You think you're special? Fucking Archie boy's got a strong pimp hand. He's going to keep his harem in fucking check. He's keeping his fucking... Now, who's the pimp and who's the prostitute, boys and girls? Let's see what my man... My man's up. He put up it all in capitals. We got to read it. Imagine, no Marcelo, Jamie, rolling content from bangers. Archie is actually lucky they streamed or the punters really would have laid, him, laid into him. He got off easy, in my opinion. Of course he did. Of course he did. But here we are. But, J but hey, what I'm saying is, look, we take a trip back down into the time machine, right? This was less than seven days ago, uh, Zeppi. And look at now. Now it's Kumbaya and fucking plastic fucking Omegas being released, right? I mean, this is the beauty of the soap opera of the Archieverse. Of course it is. All the characters working hand in hand. All the emotions. You know, all the drama. All the backstabbing. All the fucking skullduggery. Isn't that what we enjoy, Zeppi? You know, the thing is, is when people take it personally and then they fucking fall off the face of the earth or they have their inner battles. I mean, would, it, would any of it happen? Would any of it happen without the fucking... Center of attention being the hippo. He is, this is why he is the celebrity. He's the talent that makes it all happen. Would there have been a Tyler meetup without Archie being fucking, you know, uh, Luxie's uh, best man at his fake wedding? You think you're special, hey? Fucking ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous. And uh, speaking of ridiculous, you know, the thing is here... If you don't like it, you know, what can I fucking say? I try my best to bring good content in. You want drama. It's, whenever I bring up, you know, I like the way Luxie Poo, whenever I bring up drama, oh, do you want to do a bitch fest? Do you want to do this? Well, what do you want to cover, guys? I, I woke up this morning. I went on the dungeon. Those guys were having a, a shit fest against me. Right? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? What am I? Now, Rick, if you throw any more, you'll be banned. Okay, simple as that. Okay? Did, hey, did we not want the Viper Eyes? Here he is. Here's the Viper Eyes. He's retaliating. The hippo is snapping at anything in his vicinity. Snapping hippo. He's got them jaws out bucking. Snap, snap, snap. Simple as that. Of course. Of course. Would it be any other way? Of course it is. Me, 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 me. Of course it's me, 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 me. Of course. What else is going to be? You want a bunch of you want a string of morning shows? You want it? What do you want? You want you want to do watch collection talk for seven days a week? Of course not. I mean, does Archie not have the formula figured out perfectly? Okay, fire up the punters, get everybody fucking doing some drama, and then just come in, eat a cheeseburger, slug down a half a gallon of milk, put on three more pounds, cough, talk about cum rags. And then, you know, slip into some watch talk. I mean, this is the variety show of all variety shows. Simple as that. So, I mean, seriously, how do you think I fucking feel? I haven't been well. No fucking compassion or sympathy for me. I Here it comes. Here comes the violin song. This is when, this is when the gangster turns into victim. I mean, does anybody pull victimhood off better than Archie? Nice nights out. That no one fucking even turns up. How do you think I feel? I organized a night on the town and they send bird brain with 60 Thai baht. What am I supposed to do with him with 60 fucking Thai bars? The boss wants a little taste. You got to wet his beak, baby. What is he going to do with 60 Thai bots? That's a dollar and 73 cents in American money. How do you think I feel? Hey, 
I organized a great night out. I said, no cameras. We're going to, what stays, happens on tour stays on camera. And they get shitted off. They get shitted off. You know, I, I don't want to smoke weed. I don't want to eat horrible fruit. I don't want to do that. I'm a fucking 52 year old, 50, 50. He doesn't want to smoke balloons. One year old grown man. I don't want to fucking, I don't, I've never done marijuana in my life. I don't want to do drugs. Okay. I got Mark who comes in like a fucking asshole, pushes things around and, and, and pushes our good friend mental jock. Yeah. Be proud of yourself, Mark. Oh, you know what? That's the best when you sh you shield yourself. You shield yourself through through what other people are going through. I mean, this is victimhood one on one. I mean, how do you think that Tim Wright fucking learned how to be a victim, a professional victim? Right here. Here's the fucking curator of it all. I got a super chat from GD twenty ARS. Long live to the Viper eyed Pontiff. Thank you. There you Sorry. go, Argentinian GD. He's He's appreciating the Viper Eyes. He appreciates the drama. Much there. I really do appreciate that. We got Sirocco sales. Now, Yuri, you do that again, man. You're going to get banned. You oh. want me to just ban you? I'll ban you now, oh. you fucking cunt. <laughs> you want to get banned? I'll time you out. Okay, no worries. We can do it. Don't you love it when Archie pays attention to the chat? He wants to ban everybody. The hippo is on the fucking loose, man. A raging hippo. We can, we can play that game. You, know, you want to do that, eh? Hey, you want to do that? Okay, that's fine. We can do that. Here we go. Delete your comments and ban you. Go fuck yourself. Okay? <laughs> How's that? You want to do that? I can do that easily. Now, we got a super chat from Sirocco Sales. There we go. Super chat. Now, this is what makes me happy in Bangkok. See, look at See, this is what makes him happy. The super chats. Coinage. See, look at how look at how the mood changes with the Viper Eyes. See? Two dollars. Saw the burger vid. Enjoyed that. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Sirocco. Sales. There's another seasoned veteran. Sirocco knows what it's all about. Sirocco tried, he tried to, he tried to open our eyes when we were in the dungeon and we butted heads and we conflicted. And then finally, in the end, the, the apprentices finally see what the old boomer journeyman was trying to tell them, you know, don't get vested. Enjoy the ride for what it is. I am so happy you enjoyed it. And you know what? It was premium cheese, Sirocco. Premium cheese. Absolutely. Premium cheese. It was, it was actually fucking delicious. If the truth be told, it was fucking delicious. I've become addicted to these burgers now, Sirocco. I have become addicted. Yeah, did you guys see him scuff that double cheeseburger premium fucking burger and then follow it up with some ice cream? I mean, it was amazing. Five bites inhaled, gone. And then transition to watch talk. Fucking phenomenal. Where do you get that? So I can tell you this now. Uh, that was a lot of fun there. I can tell you indeed what's happening. Let's have a look here. What's going on? Hey, what's going oh, on? Oh, look, he's back. Luxie Poo is back. I'm just waiting for you to calm down. Yeah. I don't understand it. These guys start attacking me. Roland says, why do you think I'm difficult? I don't mind that you shared the email. I don't care. The, the text. I don't care. We've got JJ. Oh, JJ's on here. Let's get JJ on. Hey, JJ, Can I'm glad you're on. How are you? Oh, finally, we're going to get somebody that so, was well, somebody, a seasoned veteran. Finally. Thanks. Hello, Arch. They were holding my phone as you were doing. No, it's okay. It's perfectly okay. I'm actually, I stand by what I said. I stand by I what I said. I don't need to be micromanaged by Roland and his fucking girlfriend. Okay? Okay? I don't need to be micromanaged. I told him the answer, and, and instead of saying, actually, I see your point, Arch. He just goes off against me. He, he, he's got sand in his vagina. He doesn't, he doesn't, I've explained why I made the comment instead of saying, oh, I see your point of view, Arch. He just goes off. Oh, you never listen. You never, he just goes off on a, on a bitch tangent. JJ, how are you? Hey. Doing well, Arch. Doing well. I feel like you're uh, <laughs> battling everyone. What do you think? Maybe take a step back from that and kind of just do the show. And don't address everyone. Yeah, I think you're right there. I've got to be honest with you. Um, 
I, I, you see, now that's how you do a pivot. JJ's not even on there for one minute, and he's got the see. You see what he did? Now he JJ sees this wild hippo snapping and biting at everything around him, right? JJ comes in. He's got a nice big ball of cabbage. He says, "Come over here. Come over here. Let me calm you down a little bit." See. The calming effect. <laughs> well JJ, done. I said well the done. exactly the same thing, JJ. And he told me to go fuck myself. No, 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 you didn't, Luxie Poo. You just said, uh, oh, what's going on, Archie? I just woke up. Uh, we're going to put on a good show. Oh, uh, Archie. No, you didn't. I heard JJ's comments before. He said, I think Archie's ha having enough of being constantly attacked. I heard your comments on the previous stream. What JJ said is, I think Arch is having enough of being constant. See, and who says that Archie doesn't pay attention? Do you see? Do you see Archie paying attention? I've heard these comments. You see, Archie does pay attention. See, Archie, when he gets the content through his own eyes, with his own ears, it's much different than the little fucking snibbly fucking little little gerbils that, that, that put all that shit in his ear. You see what I'm saying? He makes a pretty good assessment about what's going on when he sees things happening on his platforms and hears things happening on his platform. You know, he can make an actual pretty good judgment call. Then the attack and having no support. Yeah, I said, I don't think Arch is going to continue to do shows. I said, you know, I know it's, you know, stick for the chat as well. Everyone wants to attack. Um, you know, some people might really dislike you and not want you on the air anymore but i think the guys piling on are doing it more for fun and they might regret it if you just stop doing your daily show ah ah so what's jj saying hey punters differentiate the true haters from the people who are just fucking trolling and enjoying the drama you got that there are real haters that want to really see Archie go away. Imagine a stuttering cunt that tries to weaponize Marcelo to compete against the Archieverse. And I mean, you know, you can't blame Marcelo. Marcelo's just a useful idiot, really. You know, but he's our idiot. Marcelo's always been our idiot. Even when Marcelo was on the Timok fucking channel for two years and they used him as a straw man, okay, you couldn't really blame him because... You know, Marcelo is is no different than Archie. He's a he's a bit of a, a a bit of a naive talent that people use and abuse for their own YouTube persona, their own YouTube ego. But Marcelo's only in it for one thing: super chats. No different than Archie. No different than Tim. No different than anybody that has a monetized channel that wants to make money off of fucking Archie verse drama. And it all starts. On the Archie fucking channel. Yeah, you know, there's only so far you could push someone before they reach a tipping point. They're like, fuck this. I'm not exactly. And I'll tell you honestly, JJ, I don't want to smoke weed. Okay, do you smoke weed yourself, JJ? Me? No, I don't smoke weed. I don't want to smoke weed. I, I, I really don't want to smoke weed. I don't want to do... You know, th this, is like, this is like trying to push a, a prostitute into anal. Now, if the prostitute says, I don't have a price for anal, I don't do anal, and you're trying to fucking get in that booty hole... And you keep upping and upping and upping the price. The prostitute's finally going to fucking have enough and say, hey, I may be a prostitute, but I'm not a fucking whore. Okay? You see the difference? You see the difference? Maybe, 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 maybe there's a tipping point. Did, we, did people take Archie to his tipping point? Did Archie perceive a tipping point? I mean, he doesn't want to smoke weed. He doesn't want to eat the Durham. He doesn't want to fucking hang around with Marcelo and smoke balloons. Things that I don't want to do. I am not Marcelo who will go and 50 balloons. I don't want to do things that damage my health. I'm already not well. I want to try and get better, okay? And I don't need to be micromanaged by bloody... I don't need to be bloody micromanaged by bloody Roland and his girlfriend. And as for Jamie, why didn't any of those... So we got Madman. What's up, Bear? Madman, they don't want Gonzo. They want people to make asses and clowns of themselves for someone's personal entertainment. Gerbils, I guess. Well, uh, I mean, the CEO was at the controls for almost 18 hours on two separate fucking Gonzos on the Horology Dungeon. And in two days, he made about 1900 fucking dollars. Uh, 
I mean, you could go on Playboard and check that out. I, I think that people got exactly what they paid for. It sure wasn't fucking kumbaya and try to fucking sweep all this fucking great drama under the rug. Those guys, when Nark said, oh, we're going to boycott Archie Street, why didn't anyone stand up and say, Nark, that's not very nice. How can you do that? No one. Well, I... I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to interject myself here. I think that there were plenty of people that pushed back on the narc. They just laugh and have another beat. Especially when he was trying to call a boycott for soup, you know, not sending Archie money, which didn't make any sense because the drama came from Archie and Archie's channel. Kind of weird. Yeah. They couldn't give a shit about me. Okay. Yeah, but do you they think, couldn't give uh, a shit about me. What do you think you know caused that? that to kick off, though? Do you think it's because they feel you don't give a shit about them, so now they don't give a shit about you? Now, remember, for the 20 or 22 people that were agreeing with the fucking, uh, with the 70-year-old impotent, dysfunctional fucking docs report this morning, saying, oh, yeah, you're right, he is an MPD. Now, remember, did he give you the context of the clip? I mean, this, this right here is exactly the clip, the transcript that he was reading verbatim and then interpreting in his own isolated, sick mind sort of way, okay? He didn't play the whole thing. He didn't put any context in it, okay? So you understand? You understand how, how, how somebody could reach this tipping point? J.J. sure does. And I'll tell you what, I'll take J.J.'s interpretation of what's going on in the stream a lot more than Doc's report reading a transcript and having a bunch of disgruntled fuckheads agreeing that Archie's an MPD when you got literally you got an MPD telling you reading a transcript of Archie's content on his channel to get his own narcissistic supply from Archie and Archie's platform from the cult of the living dead. Kind of ironic. There's no no hypocrisy mirror in these fucking on these people's channels, isn't there? Everybody gets their fucking drama off the Archieverse. Everybody has their fucking big diabolical fucking, you know, uh, assumptions about Archie. But it plays out right in front of us. You know, I think it's insulting somebody trying to change a narrative of, of something that we've all witnessed. We all witnessed this. All the people that were in, uh, all 22 people almost, that were in Doc's Report's re uh, uh, channel today, they all saw this happen live. Same thing with crappy. Those guys can't admit that they have to use this channel and the people that contribute to this channel as content for their own relevance on their own channels. They wouldn't exist without Archie. You know what I mean? Is it one of those deals where now you guys are going in circles of retaliation? Uh, I, I never said anything against the problem. I, I'm just telling you, you're asking me why do I react a certain way? I'm just giving you an answer as to why. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not, I'm just telling you, I'm not complaining. I'm just right, telling right, you the no, narrative. I'm trying That's to all. solve the, uh, the circle of, of, of attacks back and forth. Doom. Circle of I, doom. I, I think what it is is that people want to see entertainment, right? They're all here for entertainment. Of course. Yeah, that's why they're here. And I think they feel that uh, when they say do this or do that, it's like it's ideas because they don't want to just see Archie in a hotel, right? They want to see him... Well, let, well let's just clarify a few things. I want to clarify a few things, right? I went on the tour to Darwin. That tour was absolutely amazing. Nice bunch of guys. Had a lot of fun. Yeah, okay? but you were out there too, Archie. You were out in the crocodile. You went to the crocodile you know, pit. I mean, you did all stuff. sorts. Right. You was yeah, in the I, crocodile yeah, thing. My honest opinion, I think the Marcelo thing backfired, and I, I feel like you couldn't recover after that. Like, you couldn't take the criticism... Well, the other the other thing that doesn't get said here, I don't think, is that it was well planned. You see, there was there was there was actually there was actually guys that planned all the events. I mean, Archie couldn't back out of it, right? If you're gonna have Archie the, the celebrity, and he is a celebrity, if you're gonna have him come and you're gonna do you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna do Gonzo streaming or you know, centering around Archie, they made Archie the center of their Gonzo streaming. They planned it. GMT planned, you know, Archie going to his shop. They planned and paid for Archie going into the crock pit. Okay? Baba planned it. There was a lot of people that planned it. This Thailand thing, who who exactly who exactly put it together? What? It was going to center around uh, uh, around what? Around what? Around Lux's wedding? That's it. There was no plan. Hey, we're doing this, we're doing that. No, Lux had some plans. What? Take a fucking boat down the river? 
Well, maybe he should have fucking let those guys know by going with them. Hey, you know what? If you guys are going to plan on partying, I got this plan. I got that plan. So this is just, this is just, this is just the difference between punters that know what Archie's like, which GMT, Madman, and Undertaker knew exactly what he was like. So they planned on events that Archie couldn't wiggle out of. Lux didn't do that. All Lux was concerned about was everybody made it to his fucking uh, wedding reception, and that was it. Instead of just moving on. And then doing fucking weird-ass damage control in a fucking polo shirt. Test it bouncing back. I feel like it kind of stuck you in. What do you think? I understand what you're saying, but... um. I mean, the thing is that annoys me is I organized a night out with the boys. I said, let's go and hit Nana and Soy Cowboy, and they send Bird Brain with 60 fucking Thai bars. What you am I supposed don't to buy do? Don't drink. Don't buy him a drink if, if, if you want to. No, 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 no. You've got an answer for everything. You, got to, you tell me, why didn't you do this? As soon as I come to you and tell you some of the problems that I've encountered, you say, oh, just do this, just do that, Right. The, the the reality is I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I have answers for problems. I've got solutions for problems. No, you've got it all biased to, towards you, you, your opinion. You you suck up to the people who gave you money. None of these cunts gave me a cent, right? I'll tell you honestly. When I went to Darwin, I'm Batman poor, put, Archie. I'm very poor. Put, put substantial a funds in. Right? Ah, no. Where's the crux? Where is the real conflict? Is the conflict with the boys? Going out and Gonzo streaming and having a good time? No, because look, I think uh, I think that you know when when uh, Patel and I did a dungeon together, we kind of summed up the drama that was going on. We kind of showed that Archie had double the amount of content between the dungeon and his main channel. Gonzo streamed to his platform. He was he was the uh, the the you know he's the guy who actually got the uh, you know, got the, uh, uh, the 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 most value out of the content that was streamed. I mean, yeah, Marcelo did make some money, but Archie made as much, if not more, on his platforms. Okay, and he did. We showed that. We showed the amount of streaming that was Gonzo streamed to Archie's platforms versus Marcelo's. Actually, both of those guys, for the amount of effort that. That, that got put in, Archie actually came out on top more than Marcelo. Marcelo literally, literally had to be on those streams 24 fucking 7 that got gonzo to his channel, but Archie didn't, and it's still the amount of content that got gonzo to Archie's channel, you know, uh, actually was more than uh, Marcelo's. Right? Mr. GMT put substantial... And it was very, very, very smartly done by our ceo because he was at the controls he was the guy who was starting these streams on the dungeon and on archie's uh show on archie's main show it's actually pretty good funds in i gave them my time jamie gave me zero okay so let's be let's just fucking stop beating around the bush here so what is our now what is my interpretation of what archie's saying is none of this would have happened if it wasn't for me i'm the talent I think what Archie wants is he wants a little taste of what Luxipu got out of this uh, Thailand trip and this wedding ceremony deal. Yeah, you're a prostitute just like me. Ooh. Okay, you're a fucking prostitute just like and I I'm gave a them service. I, I gave them service. They, I gave them service. Really? Didn't give me fifty bars. Now, see what I'm saying here is who? Where is the real? Is the real conflict with Jamie? Is the real conflict with Roland and his girlfriend? Is the real conflict with, uh, well, there wasn't any conflict with Dodger because he said Dodger was okay. Is the real conflict with Jack? No, I believe that all of this drama and this conflict, this stream right here that Doc's report, you know, read the whole transcript through, there's only two people that are having a conflict here. That's Archie and his assistant, Luxipu. Because Luxipu didn't give Archie a little taste of his wedding ceremony contributions. Okay, let's be totally honest, okay? They gave me nothing, and I gave them the service they paid for so they can stick it up their fucking ass, okay? 
Okay, that you, you want to hear the truth? I'll fucking tell you the truth. I'm not afraid to tell any of you sons of bitches out there the truth. I, like I, it. I, I honestly don't care. I'm happy. To, I don't need to. Now, I, I have Tan. Tan is the boss, man. Right? I gave them There's service. Limits. I went to the airport at 1 o'clock in the morning. They gave you yeah. money. They gave you a shitload of money. Jamie gave you a big wedge of cash. See, guys, this is just a fight between two fucking prostitutes. But one is the madam prostitute, and the other one is his his how do you how do you put it? His servant, servant prostitute. See, Archie's the madam, and part of his harem is Luxy Poo. So Luxy Poo doesn't seem to to grasp that the conflict that's really happening here, and what Archie's really pissed off about is he didn't get a fucking taste. Of everything that Luxipu was able to get out of this so-called wedding ceremony. And so you should give him service, but you don't need me. I don't do fucking shit for free. They gave me nothing. They gave me nothing, okay? They gave me nothing. Now, is he talking about now? Do you think that Archie's talking about, you know, people that donated, people that super chatted? No, what he's talking about right now. Right now, I believe, unless I'm wrong, he's talking about the night of the ceremony. What did he get? What did he get for his appearance of being the best man? He sees these guys given, you know, a watch. I mean, even Marcelo gave Luxy Poo a watch. Jamie gave him a nice courtyard wallet with some money in it. Everybody showered gifts down upon Luxy Poo. But Luxy Poo didn't give the boss man. He didn't kick up to the boss man. So you see what the underlying real conflict is? It's between the madam prostitute and his ex lady boy prostitute. Huh? And I don't need to get involved. You understand? Sure. Lemon curly curly. Lemon five curly years. curly five dollars. Actually, the most important thing to address is jewelry and fruit. Please update. Marcelo will eat a durian when he arrives in Japan. Yeah, now what I'm saying here is, is if Archie doesn't want to smoke pot, Archie doesn't want to go out and party with the boys, Archie doesn't want a dur durian fruit, okay. Well, Archie's the main talent. What's Luxipu's fucking excuse? He goes and he does damage control. He goes to the fucking hotel and sits and has a sit down with Marcelo. For a fucking hour? You saw it. We played it. What was that sit-down all about? Because he wanted to get his watch from Marcelo. Did he give a little taste to the boss man? What did the boss man get from Luxy Poo? Luxy Poo's got to kick up, baby. You see where the real conflict is? This is an internal employer-employee conflict. I tell you something. And we all saw the stream on the dungeon where, you know, maybe, maybe Luxy Poo had to pay... Archie Beck. How did a cum rag get left in Archie's fucking uh, hotel room from Lux? You think you think that maybe Archie Pimp Hand was so strong that he made Luxy Poo go to his hotel? I, I got that clip coming up next if Archie doesn't start a stream soon, but remember that somehow or another Archie found a cum rag of Lux is in his room. How did it come from? Where did it come from? How did Archie and Lux really meet? They met in Thailand. They met in Bangers. What is this relationship that we don't know about? Is all of this conflict that we see right now just between Archie and Lux has nothing to do with all us punters? With Bird Brain, the dickhead has got a quarter of a million dollar watch, and Lux is saying, oh, maybe you should take him to the airport, Arch. Get fucked. The guy did nothing for me, did nothing for my streams. Go fuck yourself. Okay? I don't give a shit if I come off bad or good. You know what? I don't, I, honestly, I'm just having a total honesty approach to life now. Okay? Honesty. Total honesty. Love honesty. And well done, Nark. Great job on mental job. You should be proud of yourself, you piece of shit. I, I'm happy to be totally honest with everyone. You know who I... JJ, I really like you. You honestly are the only person who said anything fucking in, in, in positive in, in, in any remote way towards me. Lux, Lux has got his ass sucked by, by, by donors. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm a prostitute too. But don't blame me when they didn't throw me a tip and, and I'm not licking their asshole in, in, in a group session with him. 
Okay, you got paid, Lux. That's good. See, this is this is this is this is going to a fucking strip club, and you got the headliner, and then you got you know, you got the headliner Archie up there fucking everybody stuffing his g string and shit, and then all of a sudden you get fucking Luxy Poo comes up. He's not the marquee. He's not the headliner. He's supposed to kick up to the boss, and it looks like the boss left the wedding reception empty-handed. It looks like there was no tribute. You know, we all showered down tribute on Archie because we want to see the drama. We want to see the watch content. We want to see the variety show. But, and Archie's always paying Lux. Well, did Lux say, hey, Arch, look, these guys were very generous. Hey, can I give you this Seiko for your son? How about this wallet? You want this Goyard wallet? Jamie gave it to me. Here's a little taste. Thank you, Archie. This would have never happened. Where was the kick up to the boss? There was, I'm sensing here that this is a conflict between employer and employee. Lick their ass. But they don't expect me to lick their ass for free because you didn't fucking lick their ass for free in the least. Even okay. if they didn't give me anything, I'd still be friendly with Lux, them. They gave you thousands of dollars for fuck's sake. No, no, hey, look at that. See, Jamie, Jamie. See, we're kind of getting the truth. Spent 500 euros taking Archie and Mrs. Light at dinner on Monday. Not enough for AC3 qualifying as loyal. No, no, Jamie. I think we're getting a, I think on second, you know, see, this is the thing, Jamie. You have to watch these things over again and get a really good picture of everything that's happening i think right here archie is lashing out at everybody but i think the underlying problem is is that the one person that didn't show tribute to archie the one person who actually who actually besides archie and marcello who actually also received great compensation for very little effort you know not marcello marcello put a lot of effort into it Archie actually put a lot of effort into it too. I mean, but the guy, the guy who put very little effort that also had the, uh, you know, gifts showered upon him and didn't kick up to the boss seems to be old Luxy Poo. Okay. So I think all this lashing out that Archie did, there's only one person responsible for it, and it's Luxy Poo. And here it is. I mean, he explained it pretty, pretty, pretty candidly. Not even talk about Arch that, okay? Archie, I've done the fucking work. Archie, I've done the fucking work. Okay. Jamie, what work did you see, Luxy? Did he go out with you boys? Other than fucking showing up the Marcello Hotel because he wanted that watch as a parting gift, what exactly with the polo shirt sitting down and not moving for an hour? What was the work? Just don't buy him a drink. Don't buy him a drink if 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 you want. No, 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 no. You, you've got an answer for everything. You got to. You tell me why didn't you do this? As soon as I come to you and tell you some of the problems that I've encountered, you say, "Oh, just do this. Just do that." Right? The the, the reality is. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, I have answers for problems. I've got solutions for problems. No, you, you've got it all biased to, towards you, you, your opinion. You you suck up to the people who gave you money. None of these cunts gave me a cent. I think I think that what Archie's telling everybody, there's only one person he feels that took advantage of his celebrity ship, and that is his employee, Lux Epu, the Cumrag man. Right? I'll tell you honestly, when I went to Darwin, I'm Batman poor, Archie. Put, I'm very poor. Put, put substantial a funds in, right? Mr. GMT put substantial funds in. I gave them my time. Jamie gave me zero. Okay, so let's be let's just fucking stop beating around the bush here. You're a prostitute just like me. Okay, you're a fucking prostitute just like and I I'm gave a them service. I, I gave them service. They didn't give me 50 bars. Okay, let's be totally honest. Okay, they gave me nothing. See, now this is this is this is Archie. This is Archie, and this specifically has to do with one incident. Not all the Gonzo streaming out. It has to do with one incident. It's what Archie saw happen at the wedding ceremony, which, by the way, no ring was presented to anybody at the wedding ceremony. He saw Lux get all these gifts, and Lux just packed it all up, gave Archie a fucking water painting, and said, thank you very much, fat boy. 
And that's it. He didn't give him a taste. He didn't kick up to the boss. That's the problem. And everybody else is getting blamed for it. But really, all it is, it's it's a conflict between two people. Employer and employee. And I gave them the service they paid for. So they can stick it up their fucking ass. Okay? Okay, you, you want to hear the truth? I'll fucking tell you the truth. I'm not afraid to tell any of you sons of bitches out there the truth. Okay? I, I, I honestly don't care. I'm happy to... I don't need to. Now, I have Tan. Tan is the boss man, right? I gave them There's service. Limits. I went to the airport at 1 o'clock in the morning. They gave you here. money. They gave you a shitload of money. Jamie gave you a big wedge of cash. Oh. And so you should give him service. But you don't need me. I don't do fucking shit for free. They gave me. So this is a fucking hooker that went out out of the harem. He left the madam and started going independent. Nothing. They gave me nothing, okay? They gave me nothing. And I don't need to get involved. You understand? Sure. Lemon curly curly, Lemon five curly, 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 five dollars. Archie, the most important thing to address is durian fruit. Please update. Marcelo will eat a durian when he arrives in Japan. I tell you something. With See, now a good employee would say, Archie, I'll eat the durian. Archie, I'll go get the durian. Archie, I'll bring you the durian. No, what does he do? Sits in the truck and takes a nap. Bird brain. The dickhead has got a quarter of a million dollar watch and Lux is saying, oh, maybe you should take him to the airport, Arch. Get fucked. The guy did nothing for me, did nothing for my streams. Go fuck yourself. Okay? I don't give a shit if I come off bad or good. You know what? I, don't, I Honestly, I'm just having a total honesty approach to life now. Okay? Total honesty. And well done, Nark. Great job on mental job. You should be proud of yourself, you piece of shit. I'm happy to be totally honest with everyone. You know who I, JJ, I really like you. You honestly are the only person who said anything fucking in, in, in positive in, in, in any remote way towards me. Lux, Lux has got his ass sucked by, by, by donors. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm a prostitute too. But don't blame me when they didn't throw me a tip and, and I'm not licking their asshole in, in, in a group session with him. Okay? You got paid, Lux. That's good. Lick their ass. But don't expect me to lick their ass for free. Because you didn't fucking lick their ass for free in the least. See, now this is a very candid, candid conversation between head prostitute and subservient prostitute. And remember, this conversation, this explosion, a lot of this stuff happened for one simple reason. A private correspondence was made public. Right? Remember that. A private message from Archie to Luxipoo, somehow or another, hey, I don't know whose fault it is, was made public. And that's how we got all this drama. Two days of this drama. Viperize. Narc returning. All of this stuff all happened because of one thing. Something private was made public. Guys, I don't have enough time to finish this. We'll have to continue this some other time. I want to get uh, I want to get a message back. I don't know if we're linked or not. Archie started the main show. I certainly don't want to be. I certainly don't want to be. Uh, don't want to be accused, accused of undermining, and of rebel rebel streaming, Archie luxury. So once I get the heads up that we're linked, uh, let me make sure. Okay, make sure, please. Make sure, please. I don't want to be part of the fucking conflicts that exist here in the Archieverse. What's our man, Neo? I've I've hardly addressed the... Uh, if the punters come meet me, if they don't give me money, I'm not going to hang out with them. I have tan to pay my rent. Fuck the rest. Honesty is the greatest policy. Well, I mean, hey, look. Talents don't make appearances for free. I mean, the funny thing is, you know... You had a guy that's got a million plus subscribers that jumped on Archie's channel and he treated him no differently than if uh, Chris from uh, the Watch Lounge jumped on his channel. You know, I mean, until, okay, we're linked. Until, until he sees a red super chat coming from Nico Leonard, I mean, Archie just was like fucking couldn't be bothered. I mean, he is what he is, you know, at least. At least you know what what you get with Archie. You want to get happy, Archie? You want to get engaged, Archie? 
You got to send them some coin. <laughs> Jamie, Thailand brought some of the best content on three different platforms that we've seen in a long time. Never have I felt so enthusiastic, so entertained, and, and I actually had to go back and catch up on it. It was so much fun. It was actually the last time that I got that much entertainment out of uh, Archie's uh, platform was uh, uh, Watch Time New York, and uh, you were a big part of it. No need to self-reflect. No need to fucking uh, regret any of it. Jamie, everybody in their own personal, their own little personalities in their own independent ways brings us the best soap opera that we could have. And uh, no hater, no real hater that's an outside, outside observer that's not a contributor will ever understand that. Believe me. Remember, Jamie, there's a lot of people that don't like to see people have a good time. And boy, it was some of the greatest content. You and Roland and Jock and Marcelo and Archie and Luxy Poo, the whole package. It was the whole package, Jamie. The whole variety show, the drama, you know, the self-reflection, the vulnerability, the sensitivity, all wrapped up into a beautiful little package with Ross Rachel Brady coming on and fucking rubbing two out at the excitement and pleasure that he had from the Thailand trip. Another memorable historical moment that will be part of the Archieverse content of, of uh, library of content. Put it that way, Jamie. So you know what, guys? I'm going to uh, I'm going to end this. Don't want to rebel stream the uh, boss. We will pick up where we left off because you know what, guys? Good content never dies. Good content you could always go back to. You could always replay. We could always relive it. When times get boring, when shit gets mundane, when you get tired of stuff, you could always spark up the old content, review it, because good content never dies. It's always entertainment, always entertaining. And, uh, and that's it. That's all I could say. So thank you very much for spending your Saturday afternoon with us. Let's see what Archie's take on it is. Let's see what it continues to be. And remember, remember, every time that we're called the hate channel, embrace it with pride. Embrace it because the people who are saying it are projecting their own self-hate onto other people. They don't have the ability to have fun like we do. And it is all fun. Anybody that takes this stuff personally needs to reflect on what they have going on in their real lives. Gentlemen, and if there is a lady, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. See you next time. Insult. Hate. Viciousness. Reflective of that rap music is mostly just garbage and trash. Oh, shit. Wait a minute, guys. I forgot one very important thing. Mr. Dodger, our fucking OG boomer. Thank you very much, Dodger. Thank you very much for having the patience to put up with a fucking loudmouth. It's been a great journey learning your personality along with Sirocco and many of the other great people in the Archieverse. It's been a pleasure, Dodger. You bring me back to my childhood. So thank you very much, Dodger. Thank you very much, my man, Zeppi. Thank you very much, Mr. McLovin. Thank you very much, John Swatch. Thank you very much, CEO. Thank you very much, Alibaba. Appreciate it very much. Thank you again, Uzi Mod. Thank you again, Uzi Mod. And thank you again, Uzi Mod. Remember, you know, are you one of the people that want to go see, see this place go away or you just love the drama? Remember that. That's for everybody as an individual person to figure out. But it doesn't continue without the support. So when you invest in this platform, you're actually investing in your own entertainment. It's just that simple. Insult. Hate. Viciousness. Reflective of that rap music is mostly just garbage and trash. And it's destroyed the minds of, of an entire American generation and the American society. Who would listen to this shit? He hates rap. It's garbage. Well, I never said that. 
I never said anything like that. I know exactly what I said. The erroneous, the misstated. Who are these people on this YouTube? Who does these things? Who calls people a hermaphrodite? And who would listen to this shit? People's brains are completely fried. I don't know if it's due to alcoholism, drug addiction, mass hysteria, sociopathy, psychopathy. I mean, what's wrong with these people? What drugs are they taking to disorient their neural synapse? Insult, hate, viciousness, reflective of addiction, alcoholism, psychological disorders. Well, certainly psychological disorders. And self-evident. But rap music is mostly just garbage and trash. Curly goes on his next appearance on the Nicholas channel. They send me clips of shows that I don't watch. And then Nicholas, my good friend, Nicholas, I watch Nicholas channel. Curly. Uh, who would listen to this shit? Uh, they send me clips of shows that I don't watch. Uh, destroyed the minds of an entire American society. Garbage and trash. And who, who thinks this is entertainment? People think this, that's entertainment. The Watch Nicholas channel. Ugh, garbage and trash. The moment we all feared has arrived. I'm done. I'm all done. I've had enough. It's time to leave you too. And I'm gone. It's time. I've overstayed my welcome. Who are these people on this YouTube? Oh, what's it mean? What's it all? What, what does any of this work? Uh, rap music is mostly just garbage and trash. So my good friend Curly said, Insult, hate, viciousness, is by power. Reflective of alcoholism, drug addiction, mass hysteria, sociopathy, psychopathy. The moment we all feared has arrived. Hello, Justin.